All right, we are live, and there will be no intro on this one because I messed up. I was hitting lots of buttons, and I rolled the intro before I hit the go live button. And now I can't get the intro to come back. So we're just going to go with it. Thank you for joining us. Sorry for the mistakes right off the bat, but we've got a big live stream planned. I see what y'all are doing with this. I see what you're doing. This is on y'all right here, okay? We've been asking (laughs) Discord and patrons and all sorts of folks what the best whiskey is at different price ranges. And y'all have been picking. Now, I know we've had some complaints, like these bottles are not at this price. I can't get them at that price. I understand. I didn't pick them. I didn't, that's the reason I didn't pick them, so I can just blame other people so I don't have to shoulder all the burden here, Gene. Mm-hmm. But they decided to punish us on this one just a little bit. And the, four of these five bottles are over 126 proof. Whoa. 140 something proof there on the Koi Hill, and then the last one is 114 proof. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get through this one with baby sips. We'll see. <laughs> I, y'all know I like to go like a full three ounce pour. Uh, I like my two ounce pour and an ounce of Jills to get through these. Uh, this is one of those nights I'm not gonna be able to do. Yes. It. So proof queen's dream. Whew, I was yeah. sitting here thinking it wasn't it didn't sound bad to me. It doesn't sound bad. But at the same time, you know, I drinking. I mine though. You don't. Sit. Yeah, you know, eight. What is it? Eight ounce, ten ounces of hundred and twenty something proof whiskey on camera. Yeah, I'm not, doing not a that. not a not a good <laughs> idea. Not a good idea. I would think Coy Hill would win this one too. Great thing about blinds is, especially with high proof, once your taste but your taste buds are not going to get through this intact. I mean, I think that's what happened in the Weller video that came out, right? It got really hard to tell the proof yeah. on them, and you start picking up less subtlety and nuance um, in some of them and pick up more in others. And so with this one, I think the Koi Hill will jump out. I can't out. imagine how it won't win. I, I can't imagine how it won't win either, but you you never really know. Out of these, it's by far my favorite bottle. I think I've had, a, I don't know, what's that? I don't that know is that. the Joseph Bangna Cigar Blend. You've tried it. Maybe I've tried it. I don't know if you've that. sat down and had a full pour of it, but... Hopefully y'all have been having a good weekend and a good week. Like we we were gone no, last week. I was gone. I was in Austin, Texas. I almost melted. It I was, was like 108, 109 here. degrees all last week. I'm not used to that. Yeah, I couldn't have managed <laughs> yeah. that. Not a good nope. time. Not a good Somebody time. Somebody was saying that it was like 100, maybe 117 tomorrow. Wherever they are. Yeah, oh, Joe. Lord. Where are you at, Joe? I don't want to deal with that. Texas, probably Texas. I could do it. Got any plans in the morning? Um, (laughs) I was going to get up and try to sweat some of this off, probably. That's what I'm going to do. Still over 100 in Austin. That is just nuts. I'm warming up my palate here with just a little bit of this uh, old fourth bottle. This is not the bottling bond. This is a single barrel um, store pick, I believe, from Greens in Atlanta. We have a store pick coming up with them. We're doing on Saturday with some patrons. That's going to be a lot of fun. So figured we would just kind of warm up our palates with that, see what everybody was up to, and then we'll get right into this blind. I mean, I probably, I might, I might try to, I, I didn't pour quite as much in these. Um, I'd normally go all the way to the top on those. So I, I, I went a little less. So I'm not too tempted to drink three ounces, but yeah, we, we, we're liable to get through them. We'll see. I don't know. What bottles is the Proof Queen pouring when Jill is out of town? Hmm, what um what did I pour while you were gone? What were you drinking? Um I did have some fray. I had some fray. Had some fray? Okay. Yeah, a little bit of fray. So we for those that weren't here, we are big fans of Fray Ranch. And we had a store pick that is one of the best bottles I've had. Like it's Ever. it's it it's probably top twenty bottle of bourbon I've I've had. But we just love it. And then we got another store pick in. We tried it, I think it was in the live week before last. Not as good. Not near as good. No. Like good whiskey. Yeah, but not, not near as good. Not on so the we, level of that one. We might have been overselling Frey just a little bit. We might have been going a little too hard on that <laughs> yeah. one example, but that one was just out of this world. And this other one's good, but it's not like, oh my God, drive no. I like the other one's like if they if they told me I could get a case of them, I might drive to Vegas for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That we good. need some more of that one. That exact one. Absolutely. But there's probably no more left, right? Can't get Frey in Virginia. They're working their way. Uh, you can get it in Georgia now. So um, y'all let me know in the chat what y'all are sipping on this evening before we get into this blood. I see my Brusel store picks getting low over there. You must be sipping on that as well, that barrel bourbon. I have barrel had with any two of those L's. since you've been gone. Mm. Mm. Brusel Will in the house. Hello. Frey Ranch Farm Strength was a hitter. Yeah, the, the, like I said, one we got was 
fantastic out of this world. The other one's still a good whiskey. Oh, yeah. But it's not that, like, oh, my God. Timothy's got some rare breed going on. Joel's oh. hitting the Frey Ranch. Um, have you opened the Old Forester Barrel Proof from Charred Oak in Auburn? I don't know if I've opened that. I've got a couple of um, Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Proofs open. I don't, I don't know if that one got opened or if it has not yet. Crittenden's Cut Above's good stuff. That's a good one. We got our... He's working on the paperwork. I'm hoping our barrel pick from him's uh, available here pretty soon. Is Chart Oak the one over there near Publix? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We got the, um, for the Alabama ABC lottery last year, we ran over there and they had an old Forester single uh. barrel barrel strength. Knob Creek 12, Chris says. 118 degrees in Las Vegas. Lord have mercy. I wouldn't drive there for Ooh, that. Uh -uh. <laughs> wouldn't. Benchmark single. You mean, y'all got some good pours. We should have, we should have what they're having. <laughs> well, I think we're going to be okay. I mean, we're going to have some good whiskey, but yeah, I think we're going to be it's liable okay. to get out of hand. Let's get these poured. You pour how much you want, and then I'll take what's left, okay? Yeah, I'm not going to pour that That's the best much. way to do it. Four Roses Single Barrel. So y'all, And y'all let me know once you're done with that. Give me an order on these. If you've had any of these, or just what you've heard on them, because you've probably heard of most of these if you haven't tried them. Give me an order on how you think these are going to go. Brendan keeps asking, am, am I feeling okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling okay. Thank well, you for asking. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, we were out. I was out last week because I was gone. We weren't sick. No. Okay. I, I'm feeling fine. Thank you. What's up, Ann? I'll just go ahead and take the rest of them. Yeah. You can have the rest of it. Appreciate it, Dom. You might can have some of this, too. Some of what? Oh, some of yours? Some of mine. It might be, I'm telling you, it's going to be bad news. If we cut the stream early, y'all going to know why. It's going to be y'all's fault for voting on all these high proof ones. Let's see. We got a Koi over Weller, over Cigar, over Blanton's, over Four Roses. I, that's, I mean, the, the problem is, is there's no wrong answer on this because I think this could go any number of directions for sure. Brenda Son. Ah, that's Brenda Son in the chat. Brenda sounds cool. I think he was just concerned, I guess. But I'm, I'm good. Yeah, she's in a lot of our chats afterwards. I better have the pretzels ready. <laughs> oh, did you bring the pretzels? No, I'm, I'm, um, I can't have pretzels. Uh, the, uh, the, the after chat is going to be interesting. We're going to do the supporters only chat over on, um, over on Discord, and I guarantee you it's going to be out of hand after all these for sure. <laughs> Big fan from New York, Raphael. Appreciate you joining the live stream. What do we got? Man. Oh, hey, that must be stuck up top. It, it only tells me there's 73 people watching. 384 I can see over here. So we're having some problems. We hooked up our second monitor, and it's it's obviously having some issues. So I, I'm going to let you go first because I don't want to spoil it for you. How about that? That's what you told me in the video the other no, day. No, no, I'm just not going to look at you when you're oh, doing it's your... It's my face? It's my face that throws you off? Yeah. It's too pretty. I can't look at it. <laughs> yes, my boy does look just like his mother. Absolutely, Steph. That um, is an accurate yes. statement. I don't think I had anything to do with that. I think that was just <laughs> spontaneous conception because I don't know if I got any DNA. I, I, he does act like my little brother, so I think there's some DNA from my family in there. Well, there's some in um, there. And it, he's not my brother's kid, so let's not get into that, okay? It's not what I was implying. Definitely not. I'm just saying he acts like my dad. Who acts like my little brother, okay? So, I gotta clarify, this is the internet. I gotta clarify, people start running with stories. Next thing you yeah. know, we got rumors. <laughs> <laughs> only 18 likes, Richard? Oh That's my a sad goodness. story. Only 18 people That is a like sad us. story. We'll look so What's the most expensive deal. bottle on the table? If we're talking about secondary value, uh, it's gotta be the Koi Heel. Um, gotta be the Koi. Now this is a tier six, four roses. Some of those go real high. This one is... What does that mean? Uh, it was on the top of the Rick House. Like, so it was uh, up high where it got high. more weather. Uh, this one is an OBSQ. Um, I've got another one open, but this one was the closest one to me. So, We sniffing them all? I am. Okay. I don't know what you're doing. Sniffing away. Sniffer, sniffer. We don't have to have the same technique. Mm, Lord. Huh? We can have different techniques. Why do these all smell the same? 
You're in trouble already, aren't you? I'm in trouble already. They don't smell the same, but. Whew. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult because they all smell delicious. Uh, how much is a cigar blend? Typically, the cigar blends I see for two, two fifty, and they might be two fifty plus on secondary. They don't have a tremendous secondary value, just because they do put out quite a few of them, and they're already an expensive bottle. Like MSRP on those things are pushing two hundred, if not more, I think. Um, so this is I see this one. I've, I could probably get another one of these for two fifty ish. These tier sixes can go up to five hundred dollars. Although realistically, a couple of hundred bucks for a really good store pick, I, I would think. Um, this one's, like I said, 500 plus. I haven't checked secondary on it in a while. Blend straight from the barrel. Um, I don't know what those are going for these days. 300 last I checked, but that's been a couple of years. Of course, Weller Foolproof is about $400. Cool. Um, yeah, now granted, I didn't pay that for any of these, right? All of these, heck, I think some of these were gifted to me and some of these were, um, were um, MSRP. So, what do you think? There's definitely proof. But you know, not all the time is proof good, though. Really? When is proof not good, proof queen? When it doesn't taste good. <laughs> <laughs> and that one's not tasting good? Mm. So you don't like A? I didn't say A. I'm on B, babe. Oh, you're, you've, you've moved on. Yeah. You've moved on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are you a bartender? <laughs> I am the world's worst bartender. Yes, he is the world's worst. I'm the if that's the, the channel art. I'm the least helpful whiskey reviewer and world's worst bartender. <laughs> but he looks pretty. Yeah, Richard. Yeah. It, it's look, it, it is first world problems, man. I can't help it. First world problems. Um you create content, it entertains a few folks, people like to give you whiskey. I I it's great. I you know, I started this whole channel just to write my whiskey off on my taxes, Ooh. and instead, people just give it to me. So I don't, I, maybe I'm supposed to claim that on my taxes? Ooh. We might not need to talk about taxes anymore. I might have just, might have just outed myself. Whoa. What is it? C. Wow. I have no idea what those first two are. I don't either. I have my guesses, but I'm not real sure. I don't even have any guesses. <laughs> I'm glad you do. Whew. I think I know what C is, though. Pretty confident on C. Ron trusts most of my reviews. Nice. I, I'm going to be them. honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. And I've got a decent palate. I'm not one of those guys that sits here and trains and does everything all super professional. But I'm never going to lie to you. Um, so it, you can trust that for sure. Mm. What do you think? Wow. Wow? That's mm -hmm. a wow? Okay. They're all really hot tonight. Like, they're really... <laughs> okay, so we got, what, 126 point something proof. This one is 127 proof, 142 proof. This one's 128.5 proof and 114 proof right there. You know, I wonder if there's a difference. I mean, obviously there's a difference. But, like, usually in our blinds, yep. there are maybe one or two with high proof, and then the rest of them are... Well, the high proof stands out. Now you can't lean on that. Right. Can't lean on that I at all. I, like, I'm like, well, okay, they're all, like, whew. So I've been through them. I'm going to give my palate just a second to acclimate. Kyle asked for barrel pick updates. Crittenden's is working on the paperwork. He was asking me a bunch of questions last week, so I'm hoping he could get that paperwork done. But I think it's going to take a little while for that barrel pick to hit. Everybody else is just wait. Like, I've, I've received no updates from anyone at this point. Um, I really think in the next month, I'm hoping the first ones are rolling in, but I don't really know for sure. We do have the old fourth barrel pick coming up this Saturday. And then a, a month from there, we should have the 13th Colonies pick we're going to do. Like, they won't be available. We're going to go do them. 
I am in talks with Still Austin about possibly doing a barrel pick, and I'm trying to see if Ben Holiday will allow us to do one. So that's kind of, you know, some conversations that have been had. The Holiday one's still kind of don't know. They've got a waiting list. I'm trying to leverage some clout to see if I can work past the waiting list, but I don't know if we have enough clout to pull oh, it ben off Holiday? yet. Yeah, we'll see. See, we could go right through Kansas City on our way to Utah. We could, but I like that's the whole timing is a problem yep, there. Timing. So, um, somebody I was reading, oh, uh, I can't. I don't know what you got to Mr. Gamble ready. has me hunting bourbon here in South Africa. My wife's a little concerned. <laughs> <laughs> if you find some, let me know. That would be fun. Um, are you doing Old Fourth or Short Barrel? I would, they're both the same company now. And so we're going to do, we may do both. I, like if they give us barrels, we, we're going to try barrels. If they're good, we'll buy them. Like I'm not afraid. We we went to Starlight. We got a Starlight picks coming. I bought four barrels at Starlight because they were all delicious. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep working on that holiday. I, th I think it's going to happen. I just don't know when, right? We'll get on the wait list. If we have to wait it out, we'll do that. But I want it now. I mean, it's my bourbon and I want it now. Oh, my goodness. We should make a shirt. What, it's my it's bourbon. My bourbon. I, we might get sued by yeah, whatever. What JG Wentworth? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's is that a law firm? I don't. It's, I think it's a loan place. I don't, I don't know. know. Put in the Richard. Put in a good word for me. Uh, what's your favorite bottle you've ever had? A William Larue Weller behind me. The BTAC yes. Buffalo Trace Antique Collection is tops. I went to Austin. Uh, we were having dinner with big commerce folks. And they're like, eh, you know, you want to pour? And they had like pappies, and it was like a hundred and something dollars for a one oh. ounce pour. And I'm like, I can't do that. Prices are ludicrous. They're like, come on, let's have something nice. You know, it's like we 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 got it. We're under budget. We got it. I was like, that eighty dollar William Larue Weller sounds pretty good. So we had yeah. three of us. Three of us had William Larue at eighty dollars. But it wasn't my money. I didn't pay for it. I told him I was like, this is crazy. I would never buy this. He's like, come on. <laughs> So we had $80 William Rue. It was not as good as the bottle. I don't know what year it's from. It wasn't as good as the one I had, though. JG is a finance company. There you go. Uh, all right. So let's work our way back through. Let's get these things ranked. What do you think? Are you already back through? I started on E. All right. So this I'm gonna... is really hard. Like I have <laughs> you can't lean on the proof. Have no we clue. found Jill's kryptonite. Give her all proof picks. Yep. And now she's gonna she's gonna put that coy heel second or third. I'm gonna be so and she'll be so mad. It's mad. gonna be like, she'll feel like I did in that Weller video. Yeah. It's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be like you with 107. Oh my goodness. Cause I really can't tell. I'm just gonna have to be like, which one tastes better, I guess. <laughs> oh no, you gotta pick it by which one <sighs> tastes better. What have you been ranking them by? No, I mean they do taste better when they're usually when they're higher proof. Is 112 bad for a full rose of single barrel barrel store a barrel strength pick? I, you know, if it's a if it's a good bottle, I don't think that's terrible. Um, I don't know what the MSRP on that is though, but I've seen them marked up much higher here if they're barrel strength. Eighty nine dollars in a small liquor store in Louisiana. Congratulations! I went. We did bourbon hunting on my way to Austin. I stopped in Shreveport and did some bourbon hunting, and that was. Shreveport Slim Pickens, like that's, every, they just sell daiquiris. You can get like, it's like drive through daiquiri shops, not not real <laughs> liquor stores. Um, what's the best bottle Jill got for me as a surprise? But Jill doesn't buy me whiskey. What did you buy me, a, a Chattanooga? Mm -hmm. Those are the best and the worst bottles you've ever gotten me, because those are the only bottles she's ever gotten me. I haven't gotten anything else but Chattanooga. That's good. Which one? D. You like D? Mm -hmm. Really? Don't don't do that. Don't do that. See that I can't tell you what I don't, what I like and I don't like anymore because you do that. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh, I was really I curious, Jill. No, you weren't. You're trying to throw me off. <laughs> review a mystery bottle and blind review it. All right, you we are can do that. Trying to throw me off. Uh, I've got a Murray Hill Club. I don't love it. Like, I love this Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. The other stuff I've had from them, I, I haven't been a huge fan of. And I can't buy him anything because he has everything. Like, what else am I going to buy? I mean, I don't go anywhere that he doesn't really go. And, and finding allocated stuff, 
is difficult. So, you know, realistically, you buy me a small bottle in bond, but it's hard for me to remember what bottles I have, much less, you know. I mean, only if we went somewhere new and you didn't have it, like. Yeah. But that's what I thought with Chattanooga. I didn't think you'd ever had Chattanooga before. So. OB with the four ninety nine super chat. How was your trip to Austin? Austin was fun, man. Uh, it's work trip. Those are always a good time. Eat a lot of good food and and drink some drinks. And usually it's not at a cost to me. And that that's usually a good time. It was really hot. Tried to stay indoors, but um, it was fun. I like Austin to, for for short periods. What's up, Adam? David with the four ninety nine super chat. Appreciate the support there, David. Oh, now we got decisions. That's the problem is these are good in different ways. Yeah. These are real. Like these they're are, all good, but in different ways. This like is these the hardest two. one so far. I thought the whaler was hard, but this is mm. really difficult. Like really. I think I know what these three are here though. Cool store pick from Beach Liquor Stores. Nice. No Pappy Van Winkle. I mean, people didn't put it in here. They didn't vote for it. You, you're like, these are super expensive. I don't know why they didn't vote for them. Um, it wouldn't have held up to the proof, though. Would not have held up to the proof. So where are you at so far? Are you on, th on C? Oh, no. I'm back to A. Adam with the $2 Super Chat. Adam, appreciate the support. You're back to eight, so you're all the way through so far. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I haven't done eight. She's moving on. She's like, I'm done talking. <laughs> well, these are just incredibly hard. I, I And I don't want to drink a lot of them, so. <laughs> Chris with the $2 Super Chat. Love the channel. Appreciate it, Chris. Thanks for the support. My actual first name is TJ. And it's funny, I go places now and I'm just brutal. Even people that know my first name that have seen me a hundred times at this point are just like, hey, Bruzel. <laughs> so I, I answer by it. That's, that's my name. I own it at this point. I'm going to be so upset if I don't pick Coy Hill as the best. Okay. So, 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 so upset. <laughs> but I do have one that's my least favorite. Uh, Chris says I look like a guy that just loves scotch. I love it. It's wonderful. He loves it. it, it I keep trying to uh, unclog that drain with it, but it's not doing a great job. <laughs> this one? No, I'm, it's oh, a joke. I was going to say, joke. this it's one's not clogged. Just picked up a stag. <laughs> nice. It's good stuff. Okay. What's your least favorite? So far, C. Oh, really? Yeah. A's my least favorite. Hmm. Don't. Well, I mean, I haven't, I haven't, A has not been ranked yet. A has not been ranked. So I'm just, I'm C, D, C, I'm, D, I'm oh, B through. Done okay. I haven't done A yet. Okay. Mm, Coy Hill's the one Daryl is chasing. Thank you for the super chat. Never been able to find Coy Hill. Is it hard to find? And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Um, where did we get that one? Um, you I traded for that one. Uh, I um, traded for that KJ one. found that one, and I traded him for it, I think. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gave a lot for that one. I mean, I didn't give money for it, but I gave a, a lot in bottle value for that bottle because I really wanted it. I did, however, stop by Spillway on the back, uh, back on the way back from back Austin. Back. I can't. <laughs> Proof. Okay. On the way back. On the way back from Austin, I stopped by, and I got a 23-year-old crown apple that they had opened that they mm -hmm. wanted me to try and review. And I got a Jack Daniels 12 year that I'm very much looking forward to drinking. Ben with the $5 super chat from Chesapeake, Virginia. Love the channel. Hello to you too, Ben. I appreciate the support. Yeah, the Coy Hill, I'd buy every one of these I could find. I've never seen one for sale that I could that I could buy at a reasonable price. All right, so A is definitely falling on down the ranks. Ooh. But is it last? Mm, nah. Who picked these? these? This is hard. All right. So Whoever I think my. This was hard. This is hard. I got to decide between B and E. Breaking and entering here. And then I'm locked in.
Oh, my taste buds are gone. They've quit. Dang it. These are the two I need to decide which one's which. I'm pretty sure on all the rest of them, those are the two I need to decide which one's which so I can get my guesses right. Well, I don't got guesses. I'm just saying which one I like the best. Well, my taste buds have completely shut down at this point. And I'm about out of whiskey. I wasn't supposed to drink all these. I know. What? I didn't. I, look, Jill, there's plenty left. I'm just tiny sipping mine, and you're over there. I got to get it right. Got to get it right. Yeah, just so y'all know, none of these are bad. Mm -mm. None of these are bad. But, you know, when you put good whiskey against exceptional whiskey, sometimes it loses in a blind. And honestly, I could probably go back through these on a different day and have a different order. I mean, that's any blind, realistically. You go back in a different day after you've eaten different things, try them in a different Ooh, order, man. and different things happen. All right, my order's set, I think. These are the two that I would I would probably, I, I might flip those back and forth. Those are interchangeable. And my taste buds have shut down too much for me well, to exactly, really get a... Well, because exactly, Jill is sipping, Bruzel is downing them like water. What are we here for if we're not here to drink We're them? here to sip. I ain't no sipper. I ain't no dang sipper. What's wrong with you? This Magnus is batch number... Where's it? At? There's a 140. No, there it is. 76. 76. Jonas with the 1999 Super Chat. I'm sipping on some Kirkland bottled and bond right now. Great $28 bottle. Love your stuff. Keep it up. Appreciate it, Jonas. I need to get some of those Kirklands and give them a try. That's, that's the Costco whiskey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's. Chris, it is. It is. I mean, most of these are easy to identify. The two that I'm struggling with are the two from Buffalo Trace, like placing which one's which, just because at this point, they're they're so similar. They've got that Buffalo Trace sweetness, and my palate is starting to kind of desensitize a bit. So I had them when I was going through, and then I've kind of forgotten what they were. I didn't want to say it out loud, so I've kind of forgotten which one was which as it's desensitized, I, at least in theory. I may be completely wrong. You locked in or no? No. Okay. Ooh. Average drinker with the 999 super chat. Thanks for always stopping Hello. by our live stream. Y'all are awesome. Cheers. Yeah, we'll see you at Pours in the Park. Appreciate the support and for swinging by. So I, the average drinker goes live at 7 o'clock right before us. And so I try to, when, if I get done in time setting up the stream, if he's not crazy I'll go, running yeah, if it's not trying to fix everything, I'll, uh, I'll swing <laughs> by their stream for a little while. They do a great job. If y'all are not subscribed to The Average Drinker, you should do so. David with the 499 Super Chat, Minneapolis fan, loving the gambles content. Y'all rock. New to bourbon, what should I buy? Mictors a rare breed. Uh, sweet and smooth. I would probably start with the Mictors. Um, it's going to be very caramel forward, very easy to drink. Rare Breed's gonna be a little higher proof. So if you're new to bourbon, you might wanna ease into that one a little bit, but both of those are exceptional. And I love just Michter, any of the Michter stuff is actually really good. I prefer just their normal bourbon or their, what is it, their American whiskey, I think, or the other one is, something like that. Oh, good stuff. Let's see. I feel like I need Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Well, you got some over there. I know, but I'm trying not Go to like, it. mess it You're up. Trying to soil it. You're trying not to soil, soil it. it with the I'm trying pepper. to. I, on the other hand, I've been irritable all day because I'm uh, trying to been, trying to get rid of yeah, sodas. Yeah, he's not drinking. So I'm trying to get off the Dr. Pepper. I'm addicted to Dr. Pepper. I'm trying to get off of them, and so I just been mad at everybody all day. That's what it boils down to. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Instrumentals with the five dollar super chat. I have a hundred dollars for bourbon. My girl loves it. What do I buy? Oh, hundred dollars. Um. I would probably go grab um, some of the Benchmark series, top top floor, you know, whatever. There's small batch, single barrel, top floor. I, I think there's four or five of them. Uh, they're like 25-ish dollars here, so grab one of those. I would probably throw a Woodford Double Oaked in there as well. Um, that one's going to be, was it 50-ish dollars? And I've got $25 left. I would have to grab a Wild Turkey 101. That's good. 
I'm trying to come back. It's no sugar. Yeah. I mean, these have technically have no sugar, but I still don't think they're good for me. They don't have real sugar. They, they don't have, have real sugar. sugar. They got fake sugar. Fake probably sugar. worse probably for probably you. Probably worse, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> we got a flash. The flash happens before it shows up for us. Super <laughs> cleaner with the $4.99 super chat. Hit the like, everybody. Thank you, super cleaner. Appreciate the support and for helping me get folks to hit that like button. Like, where are we at on the likes? 160 really likes? Good. Man, we got to do better than that. Where you at? You still figuring? It's all a mess over here. Don't it's, you see I'm, this? I'm just, I'm, I thought you had it locked in. I'll just keep talking. You keep drinking. You keep talking. Mike Knops sipping. with a six euro super chat. First time catching your stream. I'm not a big drinker, but I still love to watch your videos. Well, thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. We try to, I mean, I think that's one of the things that, that works for us is that we try to keep it light and fun. Uh, maybe a little too fun sometimes. We troll a little too much, maybe. You know, tend to tend to irritate the purists just a little bit with that. But um, it does make it more appealing for folks that are just kind of into whiskey or, um, you know, maybe, maybe not into whiskey at all. So thank you for watching. I appreciate the feedback. Woodford double oak to 60, 60. Okay, so it, I, you might have spent a little more than 100. Sorry about that. Uh, math is not my thing. And I, like, I bourbon hunt all over, so it's really hard for me to keep up with prices anyway, because that stuff's just, every liquor store I go into, there's like $10, $20 swings on some of these bottles. So, he got like, <laughs> he bumped the lights. Seriously, that was awesome. Thank you. S. Myers with the $1.99 Super Chat. Will I be able to find an old fits of any variety? Uh, I, well, they've got the ones that are sold in Kentucky only that are like the cheap old fits. If you want a decanter, really, really hard, man. You're going to have to hit the secondary or somebody that's having a bourbon drop and get lucky. Kyle C. with the $1.99 Super Chat. Have you tried Law's Whiskey House Four Grain Bourbon? I have not. Should I? Is that one I should be looking for? I think I've seen it, but I didn't buy it. I didn't know what it was. Like, I didn't know anything about it. Hey, I got the hiccups now. Ben Holiday is a great bottle for the price there, Briggs, for sure. It's okay to remind people to like, you're right. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm reading comments. Sometimes I forget. That's why it was great that he popped that in a super chat. That was awesome. Remind me to remind people to remind them to like. <laughs> no, I said too many. I've won too many reminds in that. It was. Lost four grains really good. Nice. Let's see. What You still... Jill's going to end up drinking all those, I'm telling you. No, she's I'm like, not. I'm just sipping, and she's halfway Ooh, down. That one's really good. Which one? B. Gosh, that one's really good. I don't feel like it's the highest proof one, but I feel like the taste on that one is really good. <laughs> Shut up, Thomas. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah, I know, RJ. That's how it works. What? Leave me alone. I'm sorry. It's funny, Jill. You are messing with me. I'm not messing Don't with you. Don't turn my back over here to you. Don't turn your back on me, Jill. I'm, uh, it's funny because I believe that is the lowest proof one. When you said it's not the highest proof, I'm, I'm with you. That's what's funny oh, about it. Well, it's got a good flavor. Yeah. The but Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend again is 76. Batch 76 right there. You just revealed my name. She called me Thomas. Is that what she did? Thomas. Probably. Probably. Yes, Kyle. I pulled out the Thomas. She dropped the Thomas. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a T-shirt. It's got Thomas exclamation point. <laughs> yeah. That's what we need. What's my favorite Penelope? Just the barrel strength. Now I haven't had all their stuff, but like the French Oak Stave Architects and stuff like that. Not a huge fan of any French Oak Stave. It's not theirs. Okay. I'm gonna go um, back one more time and then I'm gonna be done. Okay, take your time. Dang hey, drinks with the dollar ninety nine super chat. Any New England bourbon hunting coming up? So I did have the opportunity last week presented to me to go to Vermont for a barrel pick. Presented to you? Yes. And I said no. Oh. Well, it just was on a date we couldn't go. Oh. So um, Southern Spirits on TikTok had a barrel pick with Whistle Pig. And Aww. they said, you could come take this barrel. We can't go. If you want it, you can go. But I had I to go. It. And then I had to, it was like, it was like next week. And we had to go, and then we had to send it. But we, then we had to send it to their store and then go buy it from their store. It was just going to be some logistical problems oh, okay. that was going to make it difficult. Ron with the $1.99 Super Chat. She broke out the Thomas. Hit the like button. Appreciate it. SC Mills with the Super Chat. $1.99. Are you getting a Wild Turkey's Master Key? If I see a Master Key Voyage, I'm going to buy it. 
I've loved a lot of those Masters keeps. Um, mm. Really um, enjoyed them. Favorite MGP sourced bourbon or whiskey? Um, I've got an Old Scout store pick that is fantastic. It, that's MGP. Uh, Smoke Wagon stuff is MGP is really good. Penelope Cast Strength, I think, is really good MGP. Uh, there, there's a lot of good MGP whiskey out there. You can't go wrong with Old Forester, Russell. You're right. Haven't had Devil's River yet. It is phenomenal, George. I'm glad you liked it. Old Elk Weeded. I do have an Old Elk Weeded, I think. Haven't had good times. To I need some good times. I need to try more good times for sure. You settled in yet? Almost. Give me one time. Give me one minute. Give you one time. One time. Mm -mm -mm. I've not tried the rose cash drink. I did see a couple while I was out bourbon hunting. I swung by. These I think are in, hard. Um, I'm telling in Shreveport, you what. but I didn't buy. I didn't know anything about them, so I didn't buy them. Okay. Okay. I'm good. You're down. I'm done. Like four flat tires on a Cadillac. I don't know if John Price is watching, but that's mm -hmm. that's his joke there. Sorry, John. Sorry I, I stole now your joke. I get to have my Dr. Pepper. Now you get to have your Dr. Pepper. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm going to guess what they are before we reveal these. What is yes. it? Yes. I have rosacea, so when I drink anything that's like really high proof, it's going to get rosy. It really is. All right, my first is D. Mine's D. That's and I think that's, that's Coyhill. Coyhill. Yeah. My second is B, and that I think is uh, Weller full proof. Mm. My third is E. I think that's Blanton straight from the barrel, and I'm not sure on those. Could have those backwards because my palate's starting to get a little desensitized. But I think Weller full proof, Blanton straight from the barrel. S. Myers, can you believe that Weller twelve kicks? Weller twelve, like that was a good bottle. I, my last bottles, I've had two bottles before that. Must have been off. I don't know, because that 12 was killing it. But similar to this, my palate got desensitized the more I drank, and it was hard to pick up the you know the proof, and maybe that played a part in it, but it did really good. Dusty with the 499 Super Chat. Appreciate the support. What's the MSRP on the straight out of the barrels? Somebody else is going to have to tell you. I don't know. Um, this one is one. This is a European version, because I got it before you could get it here on the regular uh, so I've had that one for quite some time. So I, unfortunately, I can't tell you. Uh, John Stevens with the $5 Super Chat. Super, sipping on Crittenden Single Barrel Spillway Pick. Nice. I, haven't, I don't actually don't have that bottle. Um, surprisingly. You they did have, have a couple. I don't have their pick. I do oh. have a lot of Crittenden's. I don't have their Single Barrel from Crittenden's. The only one I think I know is D. I'm positive that that's A's the Four Roses. C oh. is the, uh, C's the Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. Okay. And I put it last. I love I like I like that whiskey a lot, which is funny. I know, it's you last. Drink it a lot. I like that whiskey a lot. It's the one that's gotten the most drank. Like I've had this bottle forever, so it's a little lower, but I've been sipping on that one a lot. I like it, but I just prefer good organic whiskey like bourbon flavors and that one's finished. Uh, and so I like it, but I just don't enjoy it as much as the rest of these. I believe. Now maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I haven't seen I haven't seen the results. So you've got A last. I've got A next to last. So let's look at A first. A. Get to my results over here without knocking something over. All right. So I said A was the four roses. I said A is I don't know what. I love your confused look on your face. There's no way. There, like I'm. There, there's got to be a, like I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not right. trying to be funny. There has to be a mistake here. Because there's zero percent chance that C is not four roses, or not not Joseph Magnus. And she said that it's A, but we have our daughter doing it. And there, there, there's no way, there's no way that A is Joseph Magnus. There's no way. I don't know. I got it last. Let's see if she's got it backwards. Let's look at C now and see if, if that is four roses. 
She had to get those backwards. Or maybe you have them backwards. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I say I pour the bottles. Maybe I put them in the wrong place, right? Because I, I pour the bottles and I set them and let her label them and everything, right? So, but that that has to be like I I promise you, those are backwards on from the cards. It's it's obvious, know, but, like yeah, it's just obvious. Know. It's not obvious to me because I don't have a clue. But it's obvious. So, so A is for roses. A is for roses. C is the Joseph Magnus cigar blend, which <clears throat> well apparently I like that. Yeah. So what have you got? E in the middle. Yep, in the middle. E is well or foolproof. Well, I thought I might have those backwards. Um, so E is well or foolproof, which means B should be Blanton straight from the barrel. Yep, Blanton straight from the barrel. And D it's is Coy Hill. Hill. We had a little snafu, and I At may have, least we are still. I may have, I may have back, I may have got those back, but I promise you those are backwards. Um, my guesses were right in this case, except for these. I had these flipped. So. Oof, man, I got heartburn now after all that proof. Oof, Lord. I am definitely not drinking the, the rest control of is corrupt. I am done with those. Woo, my goodness. Except for Coy Hill, of course. You can't. Luckily, in this case, you it's can't just. can't, like, not. If we're going to make a mistake, this is a, like Joseph, in this blind, cigar blend's a good one to make a mistake with because it's just obvious. Like, it just obviously. Try C for me. And it's a finished whiskey. So it's finished in, like, Armagnac and Cognac. And you can really taste a lot of that kind of, I don't want to say artificial, but like those finished flavors in it. Do you taste that? Some of those kind of sweetness, kind of that cognac or magnac sweetness to it? It's definitely got a sweetness to it. Yeah, for sure. So there we go. We, we soiled it all. Soiled it. Now, nah, it, it was a small mistake. It was probably on me. I was down here pouring bottles. I may have slid the wrong so one into the, the wrong slot. That? Uh, that was 120 something okay, proof. Yeah, yeah. I was say that's got and that's good. I like that Four Roses. The, the thing that got me on the Four Roses is now it's an OBSQ. I don't think it's as good as maybe the other one I have. Um, and I haven't drank a lot of that one. You see how little is poured out of it. So I just grabbed the one that was most convenient. The other one I have is, I remember it as being a little more, um, I guess a little more flavorful or a little more complex. This one was just a little simple. It's good, Why is it's that simple. such a big bottle of it? The Four Roses? Yeah, that doesn't look like those bottles. That's just good old cheap yellow label Four Roses. That's just like uh, the cheap okay, stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. For sure. I wasn't sure. I've not tried, I don't think I've tried Bushmills Prohibition. I do have some Bushmills. I don't think it's Prohibition Blend. That, that, all of these are good. None of these were bad whiskeys. And you see, Jill and I got them in kind of different orders. Um, she liked that Joseph Magnus better than I did. Soiled. We soiled them all. Every one of them's got to be soiled. <laughs> Surprise the Frey Ranch Cash. I, we didn't vote for them. We didn't pick these. I know. Like, I would pick stuff. So, I, when we do these in the future, I'll probably have them limited to stuff that folks can actually get. Like, I think that's more fun if it's things you can go into just about any liquor store or at least with a little effort get. If you say any liquor store, like honestly in Alabama, we would have most of the bottles above $100 are not worth drinking in an Alabama ABC. So we would want to limit it to stuff that has no secondary value. So out of this, like you might keep those two. Like this one's not super easy to get, but... It's not a huge secondary markup. You can usually find these four roses. A lot of people do store picks of those. Those guys over there are, you know, various degrees of unobtainium. So I would probably not put them in a blind in the future if I were picking them. But we we just give the folks what they ask for. So this one you you even you had to get it from overseas, right? That one is overseas. I do have a backup of that bottle though, a U.S. like so. It's that one's seven hundred milliliters. Instead of 750, so it's a, you see the the Blanton's bottle is not quite as round. It's a little smaller looking than a normal Blanton's. So we did actually get in the mail yesterday two Japanese Blanton's. So we got a Blanton's Takara Red and a Blanton's Takara Black. You didn't even show me those. You you mean to get them? I'll get them. You can show I'll, me. I will get them. What do they look like? Um, move, those or, bottle, move those bottles. Move those bottles out like of the way for me if you bottles. would. Oh, Damon said, congrats on 400,000 subs. Thank you. 
We did cross four hundred thousand subs. I mean, a million, a million followers across all platforms. Four hundred thousand. And then the mixed channel, the mixed channel will actually hit a hundred thousand subs within the next month. No, that's actually awesome. probably less. Like the way it's going, it might hit it Yay. within the next like yeah. fifteen days or so. So this that's is so cool. How long has the mixed channel been up? Three months. Not quite three that's months yet. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, so we we got a mixed channel here on YouTube where we just do mixed drink stuff, um, and that channel is doing really really well as well. So this is Takara Black. I don't know. Y'all tell me what the difference is. I don't even freaking know. And this is Takara Red. And so it looks like a normal Blanton's, but the color on this label is a little lighter, and the writing is in kind of a burgundy red. Um, I think this one is supposedly a couple of years older than a normal Blanton's. Uh, and so in a future video, and then maybe a live stream, but in a future video, we're going to take all the Blanton's we have. We have these two. We have a normal Blanton's. We have Blanton's Gold and Blanton's Straight from the Barrel, and we will blind those. Wow. So that'll be a video we're shooting here coming up pretty soon. Would you like to try those? No, not tonight. Wait for the video? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good. Okay. I think I have reached my quota, except for what I have left of my Koi Hill. Yeah. Can't pass, I, I literally can't. I can't pour that down the drain. Yeah, Kyle, I think that makes you the best bourbon tuber based on subs. I, I mean, best is probably not most, okay. <laughs> um, I mean, if you're judging by subs, sure. If you're judging by views, absolutely, we are the most viewed, but we get a lot of our views on shorts right now. We're working on our long form. Uh, our long forms are going, they're doing really well, really are. The bourbon hunting videos and all are doing really well. We're just, I'm just, I wish I had a little more time. We've got some really fun, creative ideas on the long forms that we haven't been able to execute on just because I've got a full-time job. I'm working on a, a small business that I own. So um, I do need a Blanton's green label. Yes, absolutely, Alon. That, I need that to complete the set. I think that's the only one I'm missing. That's regularly released. So uh, some of those are 80 proof. This, this one's one, 80. Yeah, that one's 80. This black one's 80. This one is 93 proof. So that one's going to be 80 proof. This one's going to be 93 proof. Um, so Thanks. Steven with the 499 Super Chat. Personally, do you prefer do you prefer Blanton's Gold or Straight from the Barrel? Uh, that's tough. It depends... I think I would prefer the straight from the barrel most days, yes. But we tend to like the proof a little more. But Blanton's Gold is really good. I mean, sure, long forms are the best. Um, you know, so I, are you saying my long forms are the best? I appreciate it if that's what you're saying. <laughs> um, we've got a lot of fun ideas, and, and we're going to get to them eventually. Um, we're, we're really, uh, for, for two, well, we didn't do it in nine months. We did it in 12 and a half months. Actually, we hit 400K right before, I think it was it was one months. year and a week. It's what we, and it's from shorts, man. It is like, we've just done really well with short form videos. Now we've done pretty good with longs, but we've only been working on long forms for about six months now. So Blanton's impossible to get here in South Africa. It's really hard mm -hmm. here as well, um, for sure. So what's a good cigar? I'm not a, like, I'm still learning cigars. Uh, so I, I couldn't Somebody tell you. Me. She doesn't want me to smoke them. So, how do you like that Russell's thirteen? So Russell, um, Russell's asked about the Russells. I okay. did not care much for the Russell's thirteen, but I was down in Orlando a month or so ago. I walked into a bar. They had Russell's thirteen there. It was like twenty dollars a pour. I, was, I, you know, I'm like, give me one. I want to try it. I want to. I was trying. I was with somebody. I was like, try this. And their Russell's thirteen was fantastic. And mine's okay. Hmm. So I think Is I it have a store pick. No, there's not a Russell's 13 store pick. Oh. I think there's batch one, two, three now, maybe four. Mine is like the second release. And I hear release one was fantastic. I think the restaurant had released three. Uh, but mine's just a little too oaky. For yours. But well, mine's mine's a good whiskey. But for the hype, I was oh. a little disappointed. And then, but the, they really, like most of them are really good. So if you get a chance to get one, grab it. You want to read it? Yeah, Super Cleaner got me a New York Starbucks mug. Hope you don't have that one. I actually do not have that one. And I've been to New York several times. 
times, but never got that one. Thank you. Well, you never even used, like, the that Kentucky so mug's sweet. still sitting on my well, bar over because there. because I needed to, to thank the person who got and it. And you don't remember who got it. You didn't tell me who. I forgot now. But thank you so much. Can't I don't wait have for Bruce Long Forms. Well, I appreciate it. I do not have a New York one. We've, I mean, we put out, we're trying to get to where, so hopefully next month we'll be putting out two a week, two long form videos a week. That's what we're going for. Some really awesome um, viewer got me a Kentucky one. Yeah, now, now that I'm showing it, that. I can use it. That was my fault for not writing down who sent I it. I know. If you sent it, please let me know because I really want to thank you. So, Damon, we had the Jack 10 from last year, a year before last when they released that. Um, I just got a 12. We just opened it like yesterday, day before yesterday, and tried it. The oh, 12, cool. like the 12 is, it has all of the things I like about Coy Hill without the proof. Mm. Like it is just like bright, fruity kind of, I mean, that's not even bright, fruity. It is just like a deep, intense, fruity experience with that kind of Jack Daniels nuttiness and oakiness on it. It is like that 12. I've... Honestly, I need to sit in my feelings. I need to I need to meditate on my feelings about that bottle for a while. It's so good. Like that's I don't know how much I love it at this point, you know? I know I love it. I've just gotta just I gotta know. meditate on it for a while to figure out how much I love it. But it's good stuff. Your daughter heads to Auburn next month. That's awesome. He's not happy about it. He oh, must be an Alabama happy. fan. He's vomiting over Are there. Are you an Alabama fan? Here's the thing, Robert. Auburn's a great place to live. I, I was an Alabama fan. I was born and raised an Alabama fan. But then I got older and wiser. And smarter. And Yeah, and better looking. Yeah. And fatter. Oh. And then I became an Auburn fan. <laughs> Does Coy Hill have the banana nose? Not to me, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I don't get the banana nose on it. No, not no, a So Coy like Hill. 12 and so some of the lesser proof, Jack, sure. But Coy Hill and 12, I don't get the banana nose. Either. Somebody else may pick it up, but I do not. Uh, Jack Daniels, old number seven in gold. Isn't the gold like maple wood charcoal filtered or something like that? I, I don't really, something like that. Um, JD 10, and I'm underwhelmed. The 10 is not near as good as the 12 to me. Not near. It's good. But like even in our blind, I think the 10, we blinded all the Jack Daniels we had. The 10 did pretty good. But not for the hype. But that 12 is very, very special. We got a lot of Alabama fans we in here. We sure do. Uh, do you like ABC stores over a non-controlled store? I don't think so. I think I would I would have more luck in a non-controlled state. where I Because we buy a lot of whiskey. I could probably build a relationship, get some bottles here. It gets, it's fair. That's cool. But like realistically, nobody in the world, everybody here is fighting for equality Nobody really wants equality. They just want the system tilted in their favor. That's all I want. I just want the system tilted in my favor. I don't want it to be equal. I'm okay with an unfair system oh as goodness. long as I'm the beneficiary of it. And Alabama's being very fair about it. And you got to win a number in the quarterly lottery or you got to win a number at the end of the year or the other months. You've got to go stand in line for hours and hours and hours and hours for a blanks. And I, I, I just get, we're getting so busy. We've got so much stuff going on. We're trying to do so much content. I just can't dedicate the time I could at one point to get good bottles. And I'm not lucky enough to win stuff <laughs> for the most part, most of the time, every once in a while. But it's, um, it's I think, a, a non-controlled state I'd do a little better. Yeah. Haven't tried Stellum yet. Uh, the Whistle Pigs, I've had some of them are really good. Um, I, you know, most of the whistle pigs, I've, I, I don't know if all whistle pigs, I think all whistle pigs may be rise. Um, and I'm still just kind of getting into rise. Are you going this Saturday? Is there a drop this Saturday? Video the bourbon labeling prior to blind tasting. So video, yeah, I mean, I, I could have. My daughter doesn't want to be on video and she did these for me. So. No, she's not going to yeah. do that. Got a dogs fan. Am I going this Saturday? Is it this Saturday? You're not going this Saturday. I'm not going this Saturday. We got a barrel pick. We got a barrel pick. Dad gummit. I didn't even know. I, that's what that's what I'm saying. I don't have the time to dedicate to it. We're going to Old Fourth and Short Barrel to do a barrel pick. So we'll be in ATL. Yeah. What is it uh, in Atlanta? Like, it is, yes. Downtown it, Atlanta? I don't, or? I don't know. They've moved. I got an address. Okay. Uh it was OBSQ, the Four Roses. Hook them horns. I'm looking forward to Texas being in the SEC. It's going to be fun. 
Courtney likes the live videos. I think you should do more. Um, I wish I could. Like, we really want to. We're, I've got some different formats at some point in the future. If I could ever go full-time into content, which hopefully I could do at some point in the future, we will do two lives a week. We'll probably, probably do something like this, kind of unstructured, where we're just talking about whiskey. And then I've got, like, some really wild and crazy ideas for a second stream that would be fun. I'm scared. I want to do like a whole game show where we're giving away bourbon and just like doing crazy games and stuff. That would be fun. That would be fun. Jack with the four ninety nine super chat. Appreciate the support there, Jack. Just one bourbon. I, I haven't tried their bourbon on Whistle Pig. Can't wait to get the Brusel merch in South Africa. I could look and see what it it would take um, to get it shipped. Send me a DM. I you know send me a DM on Instagram. Send me a DM on. Uh, Discord, if you want to, I will see what it takes to ship it. Like we, we just have to like figure out shipping to different places, and so until somebody asks, I don't put in the time. Yeah. Um, so if you really want some Bruza merch, let me know. I'll see what we can do about shipping it out there, and uh, then open up shipping in the uh, in the app or in the you know in the website. Uh, how many subscribers before you could go full time? It's not subscribers, Smokestack, and it's not really even revenue. I mean, it is a revenue number, um, but it. So the problem with content creation is if you're going to try to generate money from it, is it's not a job. It's like seven side hustles. <laughs> like you got like you got to make money from AdSense and merch and selling barrels and doing all these different things to be able to go full time. And I own a small business, and so. Walking away from that is not is no no small time feat, right? No. And I'm not sure I want to. Like we got some decisions to make and some things to do, but it you know it could be could be walking away from that. It could be hiring somebody to to take my role up there for us to be able to spend more time here. Like there's there's a lot of options we've got to figure out as we go. But right now this channel, I've got three people that work on this channel full time. By full time, I mean 40 plus hours a week. Even though it's a side gig, I'm, I'm working 40 plus hours a week on this. And so, you know, we've got Shred that does all the editing and producing. And then we've got Will that does a lot of commenting and, and posting and things. And so it's got to support all of those people before. If it were just me, it's probably there to go more full time into mm -hmm. it. Um, but then I would have to do editing and yeah, all he, sorts he of stuff. And I'm not going to do that. Your, he couldn't, he couldn't oh, yeah, she's, she's cheap. I mean, he couldn't afford the talent. Every once in a while, I just got to buy a sweater from the Goodwill or something, and she's happy. Hey, you don't knock my Goodwill sweater. It's a wonderful Goodwill sweater. Are there any full-time whiskey tubers? I mean, so there's arguments like, is Whiskey Tribe, Whiskey Vault full-time? I mean, they're not full-time in content, but they're building a whole distillery around their channel. Aren't so the that, Bourbon Junkies full-time? Well, I was about to get yeah. to that one. The Bourbon Junkies, I think, are both full-time, but that's recent, right? Like, they've only been full-time... Um, I think Dan went full time uh, earlier, and then I think maybe Sean's just gone full time on it. Um, I could be wrong about that, but there's not many for sure. Love the Weller's Reserve and Clyde Mays. Appreciate it, that one ring. What's the pig? Piggyback six year. I'll grab one next time I see it. Ah, good local brand in Tennessee. What did we buy from Tennessee? What did I get from Tennessee recently? I got something. Something, Did you hunt in Tennessee? No, somebody gave me something that was Tennessee mm. that I really liked, and I can't remember what it is, and I can't. Um, I mean, Jill likes the Jill likes the Chattanooga stuff. I do. I like um, it. I, you know, I think it's pot stilled. I think it's got a little malt to it, which makes it not a huge thing for me. Um, I mean, obviously, Jack Daniels is. I mean, that's, that's a little <laughs> bit of a joke. Um, I, dude, I can't. There was something from Tennessee somebody sent me that was fantastic, and I can't remember what it was. Um, Bib and Tucker's from Tennessee, I think. Do what? Bib and Tucker's from Tennessee? Um, I've got a Bib and Tucker. It was pretty good. <laughs> Leaper's Fork. Is that Tennessee? I've got one of those. Tasmania in the house, Paul. Appreciate it. Damon knows me. Goodwill, Taylor Swift, and Disney, and I'm good. <sighs> Jill is... She's not cheap. She's cheap on clothes. <laughs> She's expensive on concerts and uh, vacation trips, for mm -hmm. sure. Well, I save money by buying my clothes secondhand. Yeah. Eric there says Dickle is... So, Jill, I... <laughs> uh, from Tennessee? I, st I stopped it. So, I am a notorious George Dickel hater, right? That, that's just me. I, that's part of my identity at this point. <laughs> but I, here's what I... What y'all don't realize when you watch the Weller video, and I've given myself a hard time, I absolutely love it when I'm wrong. 
Like, I love it. When I have a very firmly, and not joking, when I have a firmly held belief and that proves to be wrong, I enjoy it. Just like, anyone, like he don't like to be wrong. I, I, like, when I think something is fact, but like of an <laughs> no, opinion, doesn't like to be wrong. when it comes to whiskey, like, it's funny to me. Mm-hmm. It's funny to me when I, when I have a, like, Weller NT 107 is my favorite. It gets beat. That is funny to me. So I'm devastated at the same time. It, well, yeah, I'm a little devastated, but it's still really funny. Um, but then, like, George Dickel, I don't like it. So what's the funniest thing? So I talked to Josh at Spillway, right? Mm-hmm. And he, he's the one that texted me. He said, we got you. A, we talked to our distributor. We got you a George Dickel store pick if you want it. And I was like, I just don't know if folks will buy a George Dickel store pick from me because, I like, I'm going to be honest that I'm not a huge fan of it. He said, he said that, like, the higher-ups, like C-level folks, like the freaking leadership at George Dickel wants to come with me. They're like, oh challenge accepted. <laughs> challenge accepted. They want to come tasting with me to do a George Dickel store pick. And I was like, I cannot pass that up. No, you Like, can't I cannot pass, pass that up. So a brusal George Dickel store pick very much may be in the works. <laughs> Very much maybe in the works, and I'm excited just about it. Buy it just to have it. I like it's just it's <laughs> yeah like just because it's I, like I don't know how it's gonna go, but if like the C level, like the leadership of like the master distiller, the leadership at George Dickel want to come pull with me out of the to do a store pick, gonna, like, I'm gonna be mind. I'm gonna be all it, like if and they I'm say that there I'm gonna, to gonna record do it. it when you just love it, love it. I love hope it. I do. That's what's funny. I hope I do. That's like, I hope I love every bit of it. And at the same time, it'll be funny if I don't. You can't plan It's going to be funny either me. way. Huh? Like I have to be there on mm. that one. You can't, you can't go without me. You got to be in on that. Yeah. Okay. Ah, Big J-Rock. I'll buy a, a Dickel Bruzel pick. Everybody likes a little Bruzel Dickel. Drinking Dickel is a pickle. That's exactly right. With a bottle 375 so we can sit them on the shelf. What? Yeah, uh, what? When you hit me? Up? Oh, she's poking me under the table here. Dickel gets a bad rap of their stuff. So like, I've had a few things that use it in a blend that are pretty good. It's just got that mineral taste that I struggle with. Mm. It's got, and I don't have it. Like I like, like now that you've tried some whiskey, I'd like to let you try it. Yeah. But I just get rid of every one. Only one I've got is the Tabasco. You don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So. Um, I did try a 2XO at Spillway. That's what I thought you tried. Um, and you... It was pretty good. Yeah, you 2XO. Did. That's not... Is yeah. that... that's The one I tried, I don't think it's Dickel, though. If it is, he did a great job of blending it. Yeah, you tried something there that... Something where? At Spillway that night. I mean, like, the other day. Like, oh, the like other, the day, other day. day. Yeah, they had the a 2XO. I went. No, they, they had a store pick, Dickel, that was decent. Dickel Tabasco single barrel <laughs> barrel proof. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ah, uh, no, it's not like J.D. Black. It's not that it's simple. Now, Jack Dickel makes them. they got their 15-year. They've got a lot of different products. Um, I've had some, you know, some, and honestly, if I went back to it, I would probably appreciate it a little more now than I did then. But it's just got this kind of Flintstone vitamin, minerally taste that turn off a lot of bourbon drinkers, honestly. And so I'm, I would be interested to see what they could do. I would have a blast with it. But it does make me nervous to know I'll have 200 bottles of that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. does make me nervous. Mm. Yeah. Ben's asking, is $249 crazy for an antique one? Yes, absolutely. Nuts, Ben. Don't do it. No, 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 <laughs> no. No, 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 um, no. I, I buy antique 107 at about 100 That's That's where I buy it. Or less. Um, a 249 is nuts for a 107. I've seen store picks that high, and even that, that's nuts. So I, I just think like, don't do it, man. That, like, you spend your money how you want. If you want it for that, go for it. But it's not a 250 I love it because it's under 100 bucks, right? If it were 250 I, I would. that would not be my favorite regular sipper for sure. <laughs> Haven't had an Earl Settler. Uh, Widow Jane, yeah, and so I could taste it in the Widow Jane, the 10-year Widow Jane, Damon. I could taste it, but they do a pretty good job. Like, it enhances it. So you want to you wanna try Widow Jane, just a little sip of that? No, nope, Jill's done with the high-proof stuff. It's done. She's done. Uh, so Widow Jane does, and I, I don't mind it, although I can pick it up. I can taste it. It I don't mind it, but it depends on the batch of Widow Jane. So the last batch I had we drank, 
like you could barely tell there was any George Stickle in it. This last one I got got a little more. Don't love it as much, but um, try the seventeen year. I had the. I think I had the seventeen year, and I gave it away. Seventeen year blue note is good. I, like I'm, I'm sure there's good George Stickle juice. Like I've only had a few bottles of it, so didn't love it. Bo Boibles, is that Boible? Bo Bo Boibles, twelve. I was like, I don't know. Boibless 12. Sorry if I mispronounced that with the $10 Super Chat. Appreciate the support. Have you had 45th Parallel Bourbon from Wisconsin? I have not. We've been drinking a lot of bourbon from Wisconsin mm. lately. Haven't had 45th that. 45th Parallel. An Elmer T. Lee collab? I would love to. Give me a freaking, give me an Elmer T. Lee collab. We're going to have to do <laughs> Elmer T. Lee. So I had, like, I've, I've not been a huge fan of Elmer T. Lee. I think it's a great whiskey. I think it gets way, way too much hype for what it is, though, because it's just like a 90 proof, pretty good. Like, it's it's maybe the Blanton's level. Maybe not, obviously, probably not as good as a really good bottle of Blanton's to me, but it gets a ton of hype. But I got a pour of the Elmer Teeley 100 Year Tribute, and that was BTAC level. Mm. Like, that was fantastic. So, like, an Elmer Teeley cash strength? I'd be down with that, but <laughs> Buffalo Trace is not giving me anything. I'm just going to, they're not giving anybody anything. I'm just going to let y'all know. Enjoy the Widow Jane batch you've got so far, Ron. I, like some of them have been good. Lawrence didn't even know there were more bourbons out there than Maker's uh, Mark. Mark. I'm glad we could expand your horizons a little bit. Um, there are a few, there are a few bourbons out a there few. other than Maker's Mark. Old Moses, I'll have to look for that. Been drinking a lot of spirits of French lick here lately, so I haven't branched out in a while. I saw something from what them the that? other day and I didn't buy it. Uh, it was not a spirits of French lick, it was something else made by spirits of French lick, but it was some finished thing, and I was like, eh, I don't know. Uh, oh, actual Elmer Tilly, old man. Uh, if you're talking about the old guy, so we did a video with, we did a short with yeah. Elmer Tilly in it. Uh, a while back where we was just like, it was a video of him talking about how much he likes to just mix his bourbon with Sprite. Sprite. Yep. <laughs> um, I've had the blue, I've had a blue run high rye bourbon. I thought that was pretty good. That's the butterfly bottle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tim's late, but he's here. Appreciate it, Tim. Thank you. 2XO's 2 blend. I don't remember. I think it was the innkeepers that I was trying at Spillway. Um, I don't think I've tried a McAllen 8. It will make you a scotch lover. I doubt it. I hope so. I really want to like scotch. The problem is, is the flavors are awful. That's the, that's the thing I can't get over. If y'all could give me some instructions on how to get over the awful flavors, I would love to do that, but I just haven't figured out how to make my palate just not care about the taste. That's the thing I gotta, so there's just a small hitch. There's a small thing there. It's a tiny little problem. Yeah, it problem. just doesn't taste good. And if I could just figure out how to get past that, it might open up a whole new world of whiskey drinking for me. Mm -hmm. The whole new yeah. world. I haven't tried High and Wicked. No They're comment so from up. France. There's so what? There are so many different whiskeys and bourbons and like, there are like a ton of different distilleries we've never heard, I've never heard of. Uh, well, the funny thing is, is when I started this channel, I thought we would go for like six, eight months buying some bottles, and, and then I would have yeah. tried every bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. I was like, we're just going to start, we're just going to do every bourbon. And I'm, now I know there's no way there's in my no lifetime, if I'm, buy, if I'm trying to bottle a day, I, don't, I yeah, won't no. ever try all the bourbons. There are so, so many. There are way, way more than you would think. James from South Texas, appreciate it. I did not try the Frey Ranch Farm Cut they just released. I have not tried Ooh, that. Oh, I bet that's good. Somebody like that. Some folks like that heavy malt rubber. I'm sure they, like, I, I kid, of course. I joke. I like the Troll Scotts drinkers just a little bit. Y'all are welcome. But what we try to do with the trolling is just run off the people who are super serious about it. Because I'm not super serious about anything. <laughs> um, so it's, you know, I, I, I get how some folks could like it. There are just flavors there I'm not accustomed to, right? I came up on American whiskey, uh, bourbon, and that's the flavor profile I tend to prefer. Uh, Blade & Bow, I like Blade & Bow, but it, I just find it a little simple, the ones I've had. I probably need to go back to it. It's been a long time, and I've come a long way with my palate. So 
probably need to try Blaine Boone. The, the uh, Wicked, High and Wicked's going to be on the Alabama drop list this month. Hey, I'm not going to get it. And you're not going to get it. I'm sure somebody will bring it over, though. I'm sure I'll be able to get one if I really need to. So, and where enjoy is that from? High and Wicked? Y'all tell me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know that one. Only Dickle you ever tried is Dickle 8. Dalmore 15. I, we might have. That might be one we have. I don't know. We have a bunch. Uh, Bushmills 10-year. I'm pretty sure we, we have a Bushmills. I don't know which one it is. Good smoky Isla Scotch whiskey. Isla. I'm sorry. I should say. I sh I'll, say I'll pronounce it correctly. I'm sorry. A good smoky Islay Scotch whiskey. Is it Islay? It's not, but that'll no. that'll make them mad. Isla. Yeah. Aberlour Abunad. Abonata? Don't Abonata. even try. Ab 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 Arbor Lore, Arbor Lore, Abonata. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, too. Thank you. Um, I, I do, I mean, I did like that uh, Weller 12. It really went well. Bushmills 10. Finally scored the Blantons for $125. Uh, I, I like the McKenna 10. Um, I liked it a lot better when it was like a $30 whiskey, $35. Now it's kind of crazy, so... Um, have I tried my MB Roland yet? I'm sure I have, but we try so many whiskeys. Let's see, where are we at on time? Uh, we got like, give me about 15 minutes, I'll crack that MB Roland open. Where's MB Roland from? It should be, let's find it. Let's find it. Keep talking, reading comments, Jill. Let me find it. Let me locate it here. Where'd you stop, MB Roland? Just pick a, <laughs> pick one. Just pick a, any uh, comment, Jill. Any comment. Yeah. Oh, BS Outdoor says, I've been wanting to try something from Frey Ranch. Definitely do that. If you can find that. Oh, my God. Look what I forgot I had this. something from Frey Ranch. It's one of our favorites. Oh. Forgot I had it. Forgot I had it. Is that so, new? I think somebody gave it to me as a joke. I like their little cute bottle. They got a cute <laughs> bottle. Yeah, they got a cute what? bottle, all right. Shut up. They got a cute bottle. I agree. I, I said, what I said. Look at that. I said they have a cute bottle. I'm gonna try that. Oh, there's the MB Rolling right over there. I don't so know nine year? This is nine years. Yeah, that's the Dickle Nine. Is that like their normal? It's their normal nine year. They've got cheap stuff. Like George Dickel makes some bottom shelf stuff, but then they make some but nicer in stuff. Uh, this is from Spillway. That is okay. So that's one they gave me. Yeah. This is MB Rolling single barrel. So I'm trying to I'm trying to not judge this. Based on, so I don't, I don't want to judge a whiskey based on a single barrel barrel pick. So I've got a lot like Rocktown and stuff like that where I picked up single barrel barrel picks, but I don't want to judge the whiskey because it could be off profile. Like you don't really know. So uh, you like the two mic system? Thank you, Sipping in the South. I appreciate it. Uh, we're Can trying to improve. My hair keeps covering my microphone. I th it seems to be moving the microphone needle there pretty good. Okay, good. But it also helps because I can, I can leave the room. I can walk around. Y'all can still hear me. Everything still goes pretty smooth. Grab a couple of Glen Cairns for me there, Jill, if you would. Um, only yeah, you can order from Frey Ranch online. What do you need a couple for? These two bottles right here. Oh, we'll try this one here in a minute. Oh, okay. We're gonna end the stream with a little George Dickel nine year right there. Can we see the bottle closer? I mean, I don't have the second camera set up. So, I, I mean, I might, but no, I don't even have like, so my new streaming rig, the Bluetooth doesn't work. And so I can't like even use a mouse way over here. So unfortunately right now you cannot, sorry. When we move into the new room, which I hope to do sometime in the fall, I will have probably eight cameras set up in there by the time it's all eight said and done. Cameras? I don't We're going to have all sorts of cameras. I don't need eight cameras. We're going to do face. all sorts of weird they things. They can already see my rosy, rosy they won't be. Peaks. They won't be on your face, but like we'll be able to zoom in on <laughs> bottles. You'll have a camera. I'll have a camera. We'll have a camera. We'll have behind the scenes cameras. We'll have all sorts That's of weird lots things. lots of cameras. <laughs> I may have to... Uh, well, I mean, we Quit. probably won't use them all on, on live streams, but we'll use a lot of them on the videos we're shooting, right? Don't care for Chattanooga, but which bottles have you tried? All of them. Austin? I like the Everyone. Chattanooga. I don't Everyone. think he's given Chattanooga enough but, of a chance. So here's the thing is I think Chattanooga is a quality whiskey. I think it's a quality whiskey. I just, there are certain whiskeys that just have a flavor that I am not a fan of. And it's, it's not that they're bad whiskeys, and if that flavor doesn't 
does it hit your palate the same way as it does mine, or it's a flavor that you're that you like, that you're a fan of, then you're going to love those. And so like Detling, Chattanooga, a lot of those have that flavor. And I'm, I'm trying to nail down what it is. I think it's pot still. I think it's something to do with the still they use or the maltiness that they use, you know, how, what kind of malts or how much malts. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure what causes that flavor, but there's something there that I'm just not 100% on board with. Doesn't mean it's not good whiskey. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try it and find out for yourself. I'm never going to give a bad review of them because I'm like, this is obviously quality whiskey, but it's not what I'm looking for, right? It's not your flavor yeah. profile. Manko just grabbed a live stream. Welcome. Okay, so like this Glad one. Glad you're that's, here. That's why I'm trying to not judge this on a single barrel. Um, this, this is Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Um, number four char, but it doesn't tell me the size of the barrel. And so a lot of these that I have smell like rapid aging. And when I say they smell like rapid aging, what I'm talking about is they have a lot of barrel tannins. They, they taste like raisins. So it's like a raisiny barrel tannin kind of bitterness to it. And usually that comes from a few different sources based on my experience. It comes from small barrels, like they put it in a small barrel and it just like the whiskey to surface area ratio was off. Um, it comes from oak staves or a finish or something like that. Or it comes from these being exposed to intense heat. The fact that this was from Kentucky makes me think it didn't get extreme heat. Like it didn't do that. So my guess is, is that they just use smaller barrels. I could be wrong. Like I could be wrong. It's a guess, right? I'm not, I'm not saying I'm, I'm an expert on what kind of barrels they use, but just based on the nose, I'm getting a lot of that kind of raisiny oak tannin. Smell. You want to smell it. before I see it? Okay. You smell, you smell the raisiny oak tannins? And some folks like that and yeah. great for them. Not what I'm looking for. Like I'm normally, not, I can't do raisins. Normally, that's not a super mature, complex whiskey, right? It's just, and you get that a lot on Texas whiskey because that has had a ton of heat, even if they use big barrels. Brian Vaughn says he thought the raisin was from pot steel. It could be, it could be, mm. but I'm getting a lot of raisin. Some, some kind of. It's not super bitter but definitely some oak tannins there. Um, and this is pot stilled. Yeah. So it could be some of that grain to glass. And so maybe they just, maybe this store just picked a barrel that is more toward that flavor profile. Like the next one I try, like I could take the raisins. I don't like the little bit of oak tannins I get. And so maybe they just picked a really intense barrel. Like that, that's possible. That's why I don't judge a, a brand based on a store pick. So there's some good things going on there, but there's some things I don't like as well. And it, I don't think it's of the whiskey make. I think it's of the aging. And I can't read all the stuff on this label because <laughs> it's dark and I'm blind at this point. So, um, I haven't had the 1783 Evan Williams. I need to grab that one. I've seen it a thousand times. I need to grab it. Uh, but I'm a fan of the bottle and bond there for sure. Gotta love the dickle pick. Is this a store pick from them? Yeah, this is a store pick. Oh, Nine year okay. store pick, single barrel uh. from George Dickel. So we'll try this one here in just a minute. Let me get all this raisin out of my, oh, I'm out of water. I drank all the water, Jim. Uh, I think the, all the all rare breeds are barrel proof. They like are, they're, what is it, 114, 15 proof, something like that. Like all the rare breeds, I think are the same proof, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm not a Dickel fan, Brian. That's what I'm saying. I'm not like I don't know if Brian missed. Brian might have just joined. <laughs> I don't know where Brian's been, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of George Dickel. This was given to me. This was gifted. If you watch the video where we got like, I don't know, was it 60, 80 bottles of free whiskey from Spillway? This was one of the bottles that they gave us. Um, and we might be doing a George Dickel store pick. Even though I am openly not a fan of the whiskey at this point. 
116, there you go. I had, I'm pretty sure I had a 15, but not a store pick. So, yeah, not a fan of the Dickles. I see that. Just stumbled in late. No problem, man, no problem. We had a whole conversation. Got me another water, appreciate it. You're welcome. It was a lot of free bottles. It was a lot of free bottles. There were tons of free bottles. There's too many bottles here already. I I, I need more relationships like this, though. I'm going to be honest with you. No, he doesn't. We need more people giving me tens of dozens gonna, of free bottles. Put them? I'll try them, and then I'll put them some. Well, we're building a new room. That new room is going to store, without exaggerating, it's going to store probably ten times as much whiskey as this area does. What? Yeah. So like right now we've got two shelves. It's going to have six shelves and it's a much bigger area and the shelves are deeper where we can get three bottles in each slot instead of two. Wow. So we're gonna get all the bottles. We're gonna be able to stay all in the, the new room whenever so we get in there. So you're gonna just be able to continue on throughout eternity getting bottles? Uh, not if we can find more people to give us 60, 70, 80 bottles at a time, we'll be done in a year. <laughs> uh, Hancock's Reserve, I like it. It's, I mean, it's low proof, but some of those are really, really good. Um, need more bottles, I definitely need more bottles. Who doesn't need more bottles? The problem is, is that we are obtaining bottles a lot faster than we're drinking them. That, that's really the problem. Like, y'all don't realize, we have people, so I started a little get-together where we get together once a month. We, we're probably going to get, I need to hit everybody up, we might get together this week, but um, we get together once a month, and I thought I would invite some people over, some locals, some folks I know, because you can't just have anybody over to the house, and I would get rid of bottles. I know. And you but they just keep bringing bottles, which I love, that's great. I've gotten some great bottles that way, I'm not complaining about it, for sure. But it's like, I thought I was going to get rid of bottles. So we need, a, like a, we need like a bottle clearing party to where we have over folks. And we're like, don't bring anything. We've got two or three bottles. We're just going to drink them. Mm -hmm. This is all your only options. We're not going to anything. We're just going to drink these three bottles. That's it. That's it. Until it's gone. We all need those kind of relationships mm -hmm. for sure. Should give them out to subscribers. I, I mean, true, but like, it's just like, Tonight, somebody asked about the MB Roland. I need to be able to break it back out and try it because it's it's been a while. And honestly, giving away already open bottles of whiskey are a little weird. Um, we have been having some conversations about being able to legally give away some whiskey to subscribers. We'll see if that works out. It's early conversations on some stuff. So Henry says, it looks like I need to go get new glasses. Wow, you, you got me on that one. It's my year up time. It's time to go get my new glasses. How did he know that? He's talking about you or me? Me. Oh. How'd you know it was time to go get my new glasses? Look at you. What did you, could you not I don't say know. something? Maybe I, don't, I couldn't see something. That was a really know. good guess. I, I know. Remember. That was like, you were, you were spot on. Eric says football season's around the corner. Have some watch parties. Smart. That's good. I should do it. Don't bring any whiskey. Same. I went there, tasted everything, didn't care for Chattanooga. There's just something there that's not my jam. For sure, and I, obviously, I think Richard may be a little bit behind. <laughs> it's it's easy to get behind on these live streams. This is just gonna smell awful. <laughs> it's, I just know. Let me see. Got it on my hands, and it smells awful. Load Maggie's trunk up and take it to the barrel pick. That, that would actually work. That would actually work. Mm. What do you think? What does it smell like? Give it a sip to you. No. Play. Just a little sip. No, no, little, no. Just a little sip. It did have a solid cork pop. I'll give it that. That's what we, we should do it like this. That's a pretty solid cork pop. Yeah, it's a good cork pop. Yeah. I have not tried old elk sherry cask. Hmm. I'm, hey, Coca-Cola. Um, I appreciate you swinging by for such a large corporation. But um, I've been trying to get a Frey Ranch store pick. We, yeah. They are stonewalling me at every turn. I have not been able to get to the decision makers at all. I don't really know what that means. Uh, like. Am I going to take the Bruzel pick to Pours in the Park? I, I don't know. Honestly, what I thought about taking was some Crittentons. Like, I thought about taking something that nobody there has probably ever Bad. had. Like, Barrel, that the, the Bruzel pick is fantastic. That's great. But... I really want to take something that somebody could then go home and try to find, right? Yeah. 
Did you try this? Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, favorite Elijah Craig barrel proof batch? Um, the one I've got from 2017 is the best one I have. I don't remember which batch it was. It's up there. Um, I've had, I think I had the first, I think I have 18. I don't know about the other ones. I think I may have one of the other ones, but I haven't opened them as far as the latest, the last three stacks. Um, 15 year store picks are much better. I had a 15, but it wasn't a store pick. I'll be honest. That smells pretty good. That actually smells decent. Yeah, it didn't smell bad. That actually smells decent. Like I don't pick up the mineral. It almost, it's almost like a soft vanilla instead of the mineral to me. I don't know. It's, it's nothing was standing out necessarily, but it wasn't unpleasant. It could be because we had a lot of high proof whiskeys and my palate's kind of desensitized to it. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of good things going on there. And then I get just a little bit of that mineral on the finish. So it's not the most minerally thing. And honestly, outside of that mineral, the things that are going on are really good. What makes it the mineral though? Well, it's just that it's, it tastes like, you've had Flintstone vitamins. When I was a kid, yeah. A lot of George Dickel just tastes like you soaked Flintstone vitamins in a whiskey. But why? I'm assuming the water they use, I don't ah. know. Pecan, <laughs> pecan or pecan? pecan. Pecan. Pe pecan. It's pecan. a pecan, man. It's a pecan. It's a pecan. A pecan is when you're on a road trip and you're not able to stop somewhere. <laughs> I, like that's... I could see how somebody might like that. Um, it's still got a little of the mineral flavors. It's still got a little something that I'm not just a huge fan of. But honestly, the things I like about it might be enough to overcome it tonight after my palate's been desensitized. Yeah. Tennessee limestone water, but that's the same thing Jack Daniels is going to use, right? Yeah, that wouldn't make it. I don't think. I don't, I don't think yeah. Jack has. Uh, so I don't. I mean, I've got Crittenton's. Uh, I'll probably bring their bottle in bond. Yeah, the Crittenton's cut above. But we picked a four grain from them, which is not their cut above. It'll probably have, it may have a cut above on the label, but it is, I, I bought a barrel of a four grain that they didn't even know they had. It's just kind of an experiment they did five years ago in the warehouse. And then I got a rye finished, or a rum, yeah, it's a rye finished in a rum barrel. You said rum barrel. Yeah, yeah I think a rye finished in a rum barrel. Yeah. And then a rum... I know I'm going back for more there, J Rock. I saw that. There's, like, it smells really good. I, it's got. We're gonna have to try this when I have a drink a bunch of high proof stuff. I'm gonna be honest. We're gonna have to try this when it's when it's fresh, mm -hmm. because there's some things there I'm digging. It might, honestly, I think I think it would be really fun to go into a store pick because I think they they could probably find a barrel that I would love. They probably could. They're taking on the challenge. All right, we're going to find one. See, that one I get a lot more of kind of that mineral. oaky mineral on the on the kind of the finish. But it's not as bad as I remember. But let's come back to it when my palate hasn't been desensitized <laughs> yeah, with Koi Hill. With 140 proof, I drank like an ounce and a half or two ounces of 140 proof Koi Hill. <laughs> and that was just the highlight of five other... Uh, bottles of similar proof. Jameson, Can I get a Russell's Reserve barrel pick? We haven't reached out to ah. Russell's yet, but I'd love to. That actually would be fun. We haven't focused on the major distilleries just because they, so major distilleries typically have some system and they normally do it based on how many bottles of their stuff you sell, right? So Russell's sold by Wild Turkey. They're going to do it based on how much Wild Turkey stuff you sell or whatever else that you know, whoever owns, who owns Wild Turkey Campari, I don't, I don't even know. Um, who owns them, you know, they may own other products. How much of that you sell, then you can get a, a pick of Russell's or something like that. Uh, so it's harder for us to get those picks, but we've been singing the praises of Wild Turkey 101. Like, I'm a, I, I, like, drop Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> I got a better Southern accent 
to be the Wild Turkey product ambassador here. I didn't say I was better looking. I don't know if you have a better accent than Matthew McConaughey, babe. Like, I don't know. He's got a it's pretty. Funnier. He's got a pretty southern accent. He's got a great southern accent, but the dude like drives Lincolns and picks his nose, walks around naked playing bongos and stuff. Nobody <laughs> wants to see that crap, man. Put some damn clothes on. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know. People like Matthew McConaughey a lot. I know. It sounds good. I know. You see a good looking guy, you think it's going to be pleasant. I assure you, it's not. It's got, not going to be. No, nobody wants to see any dude walking around playing bongos naked. Nobody. I no, I, mean, I didn't say I wanted to see that, but I'm just saying. I know. He is filming see, a movie. it's more authentic. Huh? He's filming a movie in... Uh... Well, he quit, but he quit being the ambassador, so now they need another... Oh, they need a new they one. They need okay. another guy. You're not trying Don't to go for the good-looking guy. Go for the funny guy. You're not trying with to the southern. I mean, I would I would technically be replacing him, but like he's already out. He's already gone. He's already out. Okay. okay. He's already, there's an open slot. And all I really need is a barrel pick. Like, you ain't got to pay me that much. I, you know, a couple of pennies a bottle. I don't know. I, like, hold on. Don't be trying to get me to be the ambassador for Long Branch. That's not going to happen. We're not, <laughs> we're not, we're not selling that crap. Like, get me, like, let me be the Wild Turkey 101 guy or something, you know, <laughs> rare breed or something. That's what I'm saying, Tim. The disrespect in here. There is no disrespect. Jesus Christ. I was <sighs> just saying that Matthew Lots McConaughey has a pretty darn yeah. solid... Accent. He's awful, Jill. That's what I was just saying. <laughs> That's all I was saying. Uh, I like Austin. Honestly, I haven't even seen this month's Alabama releases. I didn't even know it was didn't coming up. This. I've was. been gone. Like I just been. I've been gone for two weeks, pretty much. I didn't know anything about it. So I need to check up on that and figure it out. See, Cheslin was supported. Oh, okay. Then there you go. There we, That's I all we wrong. need. That's I'm all sorry. You, see. I was wrong. <sighs> Cheslin is right. I am Jesus so sorry. Christ. And I, yes, you're right. Stand by my man. Can't get no respect. I respect Jane you. Matthew McConaughey. I respect you. I think you'd make I'm a to, much better ambassador than Matthew I'm McConaughey. I'm going to have to beat him up. I'm going to have to beat him up next much time I see him. He better be glad I didn't run into him in Austin, Texas. He was in Birmingham. You couldn't have ran into him. What was he in Birmingham for? He's shooting a movie. We I told okay. you that. Well, you didn't say he was doing it in Birmingham. Yeah. Hmm. Somewhere around in there. Wait, Birmingham. He's croaching my territory. <laughs> yeah. Go on up there and see what he's doing. <laughs> How do you spell his name exactly? No, that. Exactly. Uh, it's Mick. I don't know. That's how you spell his last name. <laughs> I'd beat TJ Campbell over Matthew McWhatever. <laughs> exactly. Mick, what's his face? <laughs> Every time. Well, I would too. No, she keeping tabs on Matthew. That's what we've learned tonight. It's all over the That's news. What, it's all over the he's news. He's in our area. Filming the news. The news. Yes. Yeah, his social profile. Because he's filming a. Um, what is that? An Amber Alert? That <laughs> no. thing's loud. No, because he's filming a movie. What's the movie? I don't know. Oh, you sound like you know. I don't know. Sound like you know. Sound like you're being coy now. I don't know the movie. <laughs> Timothy with the $5 super chat just wanted to show some love. Well, thank you for thank the support. You. Appreciate that, Timothy. Weller versus Ben Holiday. Oh, now you get crazy. That's like mm. that's not fair. That's not fair. Um, I would prefer Weller, but honestly, the Ben Holiday red winter wheat is fantastic. <laughs> like it's it's Weller left. It's different. It's di it's not the same, and I, I prefer Weller, but that Ben Holiday is it it bats with any wheater out there, really. What are you laughing at? Um, somebody, Brian said that. It's Matthew buzzing in. Obviously, we have to go home And then someone said he better not be filming a movie. He's on strike. Yes. Before the strike the other day, he was filming a movie. I don't know what he's doing now. He didn't call me and let me know what he was doing. So. Yes, Outdoor says you probably already have the movie poster. <laughs> You're letting everybody give me a hard time. And I was so sweet to you before the stream. I'm done with you. I'm it's leaving. pretty funny. It's pretty funny. No, you got it, Miss. You you just giving me a hard time. Uh, I wasn't giving you a hard time. You the one said you prefer Matthew McConaughey. Like that's I not me giving you a hard time. That's I you would, asking for a hard time. I didn't say I would prefer Matthew McConaughey. I said he had a pretty strong southern accent. That's what I said. You didn't say strong. I mean strong and like You didn't say strong. Good. Yeah. Strong as in good. Yeah. <laughs> he has a good southern <laughs> accent. Okay? Uh, 
Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, I was so sweet to you before this stream. <laughs> Cooked you a nice dinner. Kyle's got a cash strength weeder for me to try. What, what have you got, Kyle? Call it whistle bridges. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> yeah, we're moving on, Mr. McWhatever. We're done with it. Go New on. subject. What's this cash strength weeder we're talking about? <laughs> Some serious <laughs> backpedaling. Uh. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, Come to Athens, already. Georgia. I should we I would really want to do some football games in other places. We should do some stuff. In other places? Yeah, I want to go to all the SEC stadiums. We should do that. That'd be fun. Not in one year. I don't know that. You have any of the Bardstown stuff? I have some, yeah. I think I have some discoveries. I think I have a fusion I may have never even opened. Uh, but not a ton. Uh, Buffalo Trace Single. I'd love to have a Buffalo Trace Single Barrel, but honestly, I just doubt that's ever going to happen. I, I've tried. I mean, my tops of my list is a Weller Antique 107 Single Barrel, but I just don't think that's, um, that's going to happen. The dogs got loose. Kyle just, Kyle just dropped. He's got a cash strength, and he's not even going to tell me what it is, right? Uh-huh. He's like, I got one. Go not on. letting you know Go about on. it. Oh, that four grain pick is going to be fantastic there, Pyro. It's going to be good stuff. Um, it's like, first of all, there's two or three different types of barrel picks. Crittenton's is very much a let's walk into the Rick House, point at a barrel you want to try, drill a hole in it, give it a try. So we had tried lots of barrels before we found that four grain. I'm going to be incredibly disappointed if I find out we had just drank too much. But when everybody got to that one, everybody... Everybody in the group loved that barrel, much more so than anything else. And so I hope that holds up. We'll see once it's in the bottle. Oh, you got the Southern Star Paragon. So a lot of folks have been telling me we passed up on a Paragon in the Kentucky, the Louisville bourbon hunt. Mm. And a lot of folks were like, the Paragon is fantastic. You should try it. And so I really missed out. And so I need to, that's on my list of things to look for. Um, so... I'm gonna. I'm. I'm looking forward to that Southern Star Paragon. I don't know. Have I opened that fusion? I'm probably uh, not gonna open it tonight. But no. I think I've. Uh, I don't know. It's around. I don't know where it's at. Who like who could know where anything's at? Look at all that. Well, I rearranged them all a while back so that the really expensive bottles are right behind us, just for content. So, <laughs> so we had somebody. Bottles. We had somebody in the Weller videos like, man, you ain't got to use a green screen. There's no way you got all those <laughs> bottles. And I'm like, ah, okay, man. Sorry about that. You know, Good you're right. <laughs> um, do we ever get into gaming? I mean, I played a little Fortnite for about three minutes till I got a couple of wins, and then I quit. Plays a little Minecraft. <sighs> <laughs> He's a good My daddy. youngest daughter's into Minecraft, so I'm playing a little bit of Minecraft. Um, a little bit of Minecraft. But, I, you know, a little gaming like that. But I just don't I don't have time to game, really what it boils down to. It takes a lot of investment to be... I don't like to do anything I'm not good at. And it takes a lot of investment to be good at gaming. And I just can't put that investment into it. Uh, Stag Jr. or Blanche straight from the barrel? I prefer, like, the ones I have open... In my mind, I prefer Blanton straight from the barrel. I'd probably have to blind them to really see, but I think I like the Blantons a little better. Um, but we'll see. Kyle said it comes in at 116.3. Yeah, I mean, if you if you find one, grab it. I, I'll take the bottle off of you for sure. Uh, Stag Junior Buffalo. I, I, I'm a, yes, absolutely, Vernon, but I don't have <laughs> the clout. Like, I know some YouTubers have done it, but they have been, you know, so like Bourbon Junkies, I think, had a Stag Barrel. Uh, they have been doing it for a long time. Um, I'm not sure when they got that barrel in like the acceleration of hype of, of bourbon, but at the same time, like we just don't have those relationships at this point. It just takes years to build those relationships. Uh, Kentucky, Kentucky Owl Rye 11 year. I don't know what it's worth. So, uh, I, I wouldn't have super high expectations on a Kentucky Owl Rye. Not, not if it's really expensive. Saw a few bottles of, I don't even know what that is there, Caleb. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
Um, any recommendations that's similar to Jack Daniels Barrel Proof? I don't know why you'd need a recommendation that's similar. Like those are pretty accessible, good bottles. Um, Jack Daniels just has that kind of unique, you know, banana nut bread flavor profile. Oh, does Duck Hunt count as gaming? Oh, I'm a world champion, Duck Hunter. Man, I did okay. I did okay for like three rounds with uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out too, but uh, apparently I've lost my technique on that one. <laughs> uh, best bourbon for a newbie getting into bourbons. Uh, we've got a whole video on the channel on that. Top eight bourbons for beginners. Check that one out. Uh, Benchmark, Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, Wild Turkey 101, Rare Breed. <laughs> Maybe an old Forster 86 or 100 proof if you can get into that. Um, there's a bunch of them in that video though. Uh, Jason says, no, it's a probably probably a common question, but what would you recommend as a good starting sipping whiskey? Yeah, right there. Uh, same list, right? Start with some maybe some old Forster 86 proof, maybe Wild Turkey 101, get a, get a little more proof on that. The benchmark stuff, I don't love eight, but the rest of those are really, really good. So. I do need to get to North Carolina. We should go to North Carolina. When yes, are we doing that? We should do that. When? I don't know. We've got a lot planned and a lot going on, so we'll have to put that in the lineup of all the stuff. That's... We'll have to work it into the sky. It's on our <laughs> list. Like we've we've done. I was kind of mapping out all the states. I've done bourbon hunting videos, and pretty much like all of the southeast from Georgia and Florida all the way over to Nevada, we've done. Yeah. And so what we haven't done, like we've, I've got Ohio, that one should be coming out soon in Kentucky. Um, but then like up the East coast and then, you know, the Pacific Northwest and then kind of yeah. the Northern Midwest haven't done any of that. So we, we might There's have a little a trip up there though. If we end up going to Utah, like we've talked about, we might be able to knock a lot of those kind of Midwestern states out. We'll see. Yeah. Ever had Old Fitzgerald Prime? Is that not what I've got up there? Some, I think it's hidden back there. Um, I think that's what I've got back there though. That's Behind like the, the cheaper the Old Fitzgerald. Uh. Um, I also, we've got a video coming up. Um, KJ just helped me get an Old Fitzgerald from like the 60s or 70s, like a Stitzel Weller Old Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna do a video coming up soon where we try old whiskeys versus new whiskeys. So we're gonna try the old fits versus that. We're gonna probably crack open the Rebel 100 Stitzel Weller versus that, and I need at least one more. I want at least one more comparison that's not not a Stitzel Weller. So we could do the Black Bull Scotch. We could do, we've got the old Jack Daniels, but I feel like it's oxidized a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I need to find one more old and new whiskey, something that is still made um, to try it. Um, I did not hunt in Austin, Tim. I wanted to, but it was a work trip and I, time just did not permit. But we are trying to do a barrel pick with still Austin. So I'm probably gonna be back over there within the next month or so anyway. So I figured that video is not gonna come out by then. We've got a ton stacked up. So I'll just get over there and do the Austin bourbon hunt when I go back for that barrel pick. Uh, I will be up in Michigan, or I'll be up in Michigan here in just a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. I will not be there. Um, so we're coming up for the Bourbon Junkies Pours in the Park. Are you so, going by yourself? Well, I mean, Kyle's going, oh, Kyle's but the going Kyle moved his flight around. I'm going to have to move my flight to make it up there for the Thursday thing they're doing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm not going with you, so I'm no, going by going myself. Yeah. yeah. But, I, you know, I know a lot of folks there at this point. Last year, I just kind of showed up without knowing much of anybody. This year, I know some folks, so. Yeah, the benchmark, well, of course, these are all Buffalo Trace bottles here, um, but yeah, the benchmark stuff's good. Like, that's a good whiskey. You don't have to have super expensive whiskey to have a good time. Gotta go to Old Raleigh in North Carolina. I've seen that one on TikTok a lot, the Old Raleigh distillery. You like that one? It looks, okay. it looks cool. I don't we'll know. check it out. I don't think we've ever had it. I, I definitely have not no, had it. Yeah. It looks really cool. Does bourbon change flavor after the bottle is open, Nick asked. Uh, yeah, it's going to oxidize. It takes a while, but corks will get dry. And then once the corks get dry, they might leak and let air in. But once a bottle gets kind of low, like some of these bottles we had up here tonight, I think they're over there. Once it gets down to like the last 25% of the bottle, 
I tend to just drink them because they've got a lot of air in there and they'll start oxidizing. Now they don't necessarily go bad, or at least none of mine have ever gone bad, but you can really tell the flavors start to kind of mute and get a little more harsh than they might have been if they were a fresh cork pop. Can we see the old Jack Daniels bottle? You want to grab the old Jack Daniels bottle for them over there, Jill? Um, I believe it is behind those little um, the little tasters. I think it's back there. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think it's that. I think they're doing something. I don't know if it's for patrons or what. They're doing something at Virtue, I think. I don't. I don't really know yet, honestly. I just know I'm supposed to be there Thursday. So this is the old, and we don't. Again, I can't zoom in, but that it's pretty much the same bottle. Um, but this is from the '70s. Used to get two 1.75 bottles of Jim Beam for the weekend. It's gonna be, I don't know how many people you're going through there, but that could be a good weekend. It, it can sometimes improve it. Yeah, I mean, just because if it gets more oxidized, the flavors get more muted, can make it better, that's for sure. Is higher proof always better? No, um, it's a different experience, and sometimes we prefer it, sometimes we don't. Um, but it does, so usually higher proof means it's not watered down so the flavors are a lot more intense but sometimes as you water it down you actually pick up a lot more subtlety and nuance and so whiskey can get better at a lower proof so yes higher proof is better to me to a certain point and then it gets debatable depending on what that whiskey is Thoughts on Old Tub Bottle and Bond for 15 bucks? I think it's a buy at that. I, I Only one I've got is in that really awful decanter over there. <laughs> um, I bought a bunch of bottles for experiments, and then we kind of ran those experiments, and I don't have any more. But for 15 bucks, I thought it was all right. I mean, it's a Bottle and Bond from Jim Beam for $15. Come on. Cheslin is, it's 5 a.m. in South Africa, and they're hanging wow. out. Wow. Oof, man. 5 a.m. Sorry about that. Hopefully, hopefully we didn't keep, like we've only been going for like an hour and a half or so, right? So hour and 48 minutes. So we can't blame us. We didn't, you were already up at three o'clock when we started. <laughs> we just kept you here. Yeah. So somebody asked you about that Russell's Reserve 13 again there, John. We went through that earlier in the stream. The bottle I've got, I didn't love, but I've had a different bottle that I think was released three that was exceptional. Mine's got a little too much bitter oak on it, but some of the other releases are much, much better. So um, that bottle, which I believe is release two, wouldn't buy it again. Not at, not at what it cost me. But release three, I'd jump on that if I found it at a decent price. Uh, would it help to take it out of the big bottle and put it in the small one? Sure, probably, Pyro. But when you got as many bottles as I've got here, probably not gonna help. Uh, like that'd be a lot of small bottles, but yet yeah, probably. Still waiting on my VIP coin. Do we need to do VIP, we need to do coins? Is that what we need to do? Um, I've seen a lot of a lot of YouTubers do coins. We have not done one yet. A you think coin. we, yeah, it's like a coin. I think you could use it like sit on top of a Glen oh, Cairn. Okay. You know, like, like we were kind of late to the coin yeah, game. We probably need to do that. Use. We need to, That's we need to, we'll talk, I'll talk to the team about that, see what we could do. I don't know who makes coins, but we'll figure that out. Because I'd like to do that. Honestly, I need something to cap these glens anyway. Donovan with the 999 Super Chat. We can get you to some good places in Eastern North Carolina. Thanks for the response and all the videos. Always a joy to watch. By the way, I had for my first Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend the other day, and it's easily in my top seven. See, I, I had it second. You had it second. I put it down close to second. I actually had it Which last. Is weird because you just were just sipping on that the other night. I do, like, the thing you is, like is all of these are good. Yeah. All of these are good. And with a cigar, I think that cigar blend actually does really well because those kind of sweet, fruity flavors you get from, like, the cognac and the amaranac um, really come through on the palate. So it's beautiful for what it's designed for, but... Just sitting here sipping neat. I prefer all the other ones we had in the blind tonight. Garrison Bros, uh, intense, good whiskey. I've got to be in the mood for it. It's good, but I got to be in the mood for it. I need a crypto coin. Me too. 
Someone mm -hmm. will send me a Bitcoin. Ah, what is a good first bottling bond? Evan Williams. You should be able to get that just about anywhere. Uh, thoughts on Booker's? I like Booker's. It's, again, intense. I sip on it. I don't drink it all the time, but I really like them. Any comments you want to? I feel like I'm just doing all the talking well, here you know and you're doing all the watching. The okay. Once I we do. quit drinking, I'm just going to handle it. You're just going to, you just the eye candy while I talk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Russell's 10 beats an Eagle Rare 10. No, not to me. Not to me. I Although I do like a Russell's 10. I can I see, see how, something. I can see how somebody would prefer a Russell's 10, but for me, I'm going to choose the Eagle Rare. Most of these, I have no clue what to answer. <laughs> I have no good opinion to give them, so yeah, I just understand. let you do that. <laughs> You'll get there. You keep drinking with me. You'll get to all the opinions. I mean, I have opinions, but I don't have any really So, good. you found two bottles of Jim Beam Signature Craft Quarter Cast Batch 3 from 2014. What are your thoughts on that? Um, Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Mine too. Sure. I, I've never tried those. So, <laughs> if you found sure. anything from 2014, that's cool. As whoever pointed out earlier, my glasses are not working very good, so I really can't see a lot of the comments. Oh, he's talking about the VIP get-together coin. Mine supposedly in the mail. Oh. That's all I know. Supposedly in the mail. Um, is Elijah Craig t best toasted on the market? What would be a better toasted barrel than Elijah Craig? I like the Elijah Craig. Mictures probably... Uh, Probably prefer that toasted. Although I do think the Elijah Craig beat oh. it in one of my blinds once. We but should do a I've done a couple. barrel blind. You think so? Yeah. Okay. That sounds like an interesting The best blind. toasted barrel. Yeah. That, that is an interesting blind for sure. Um, but it, I mean, it's good. It's a good toasted barrel. I do like the Elijah Craig. Some folks don't. I do like the Elijah Craig toasted barrel. Honestly, one of my favorite Elijah Craigs. Uh, Jabron Lames. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> What is LeBron? What is LeBron James doing here? <laughs> what? Nine ninety nine super chat. Just drank a half a bottle of Frey Ranch rye. Sorry, not sorry. Exactly. Hey, we haven't had the rye, have we? Yeah, we've got it. Oh, we've got we it did? in the back okay. back there for right. sure. Um, like the softer edge, older JD bottle. Yeah, that's a cool bottle. Um, and the whiskey's good. It's just this bottle when I received it was open, and there was like one pour out of it, and so it's been sitting for maybe fifty years with a little air on it. And so I think the flavors are, yeah, I think the flavors are a little muted, is all. Does Bottle and Bond guarantee a quality whiskey? Yes, Manny. Bottle and Bond means they did not cut any quarters. Now, does it mean you will like it? No. Does it, does it guarantee a good whiskey? No. But it guarantees a quality whiskey where they didn't cut any corners. Now, whether you like it, whether you don't, it just depends on, you know, what whiskey they put into the barrel how they treated it once it was in a barrel, what climate it's in. Like there's a lot of factors outside of being bottled in bond, but that means that they made a quality whiskey where they didn't play, there were no shenanigans involved in it. You were laughing at something? No, I was just looking. Okay. Thought you giggled at something. Is EC toasted as meh? Mm. I like it. Is that I mean, it's, yeah. it's, yes, yeah, the toasted barrel right there. I like it. Have you looking for Frey Ranch? The rye, their rye is not my favorite rye, but their bourbon is really solid. Nulu has a good toasted. Haven't had that. Penelope toasted. Haven't had that one. I, I, you know what? I might have a Penelope toasted. I might. I think I might have a Penelope toasted. Short. Sure, actually, Kyle is probably right there. I had not thought about that, but we are grab that short barrel toasted right there. We are going to do a barrel pick with short barrel slash old fourth this weekend. And this bottle, sniff it for me. Sniff it. Hey, you went, I'll pour you a little yeah, bit. It's easier to sniff like that. Sniffing into the bottle. Well, that's probably not good. I just poured it in the Koi Hill <laughs> glass. But um, this short barrel it toasted good. is actually, honestly, if you had handed me this bottle, I probably would not have guessed it's toasted. Um, and I think though they may Ooh. have changed up their formula. I think they may have a new toasted that's different than this one. I could be wrong about that, but I think I heard that online. I hate shenanigans too, Manny. That smells really good. It's, it actually is a really good whiskey. Don't like the Basil Hayden. I, I'm not a huge fan of Basil. What do you think? Mm. Would you guess that's a toasted barrel? I don't think I've ever. 
Like, do, have I ever really tried toasted barrels before? Not a lot. No, that's good. So normally, like so toasted barrel. I you, get vanilla. Yeah, a lot of vanilla. Um, usually on toast. Look at me knowing stuff. You're really good at this, actually. That, that's for no really more, good. So no more, no more the, of this stuff that you've done. You you've actually got a lot of talent. Jill. You're gonna you're gonna be good at this. You're gonna be better than me. And this is just gonna be Jill's channel. And I'm just we're gonna have to start a proof queen channel, just for you. I'll never leave you, bud. This is <laughs> not even for Matthew McConaughey. Not even Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. See, um, you sound just like him. No, apparently I have a much worse accent. That's what I heard. That's what I learned. That is um, not what I said. <laughs> um, so this is a really like this is a good. That's toasted. really good. So normally with that toasted. That makes me excited about doing a toasted. Wow. Yeah, and we might do a toasted pick with them if they've got some really bar good barrel they want to share with us. That's really good. Um, toasted, so they take it out and they put it in a new toasted, like they age it normally. Typically, they're going to take it out and they're going to put it in a toasted barrel to give it some flavor. So do most And so it's a double oak. It's a it's a finished whiskey in another wood, uh, which I oftentimes don't, don't like. Like, like there's yeah. an, a lot of those I don't like. Toasted's... You know, I, I, oftentimes I like them. Sometimes they're not well done. This one's super subtle. That's so really this good. one's super subtle, which I like. I like it a lot. And that's uh, where we're going this weekend. That is where we're going. Yes, I'm it's excited. these guys and the old fourth we were drinking earlier. Um, so anyone had Paragon? Yeah, we were just talking about that. Kyle's going to bring me one. I'm going to give it a try here pretty soon. One of the guys on the Thursday chat keeps open bottles in the fridge. Uh, probably not a great idea. Uh, now, I, it's fine. Like, you drink your whiskey how you want to drink your whiskey. And I used to. I actually used to keep bottles in the freezer. But that was back when I was drinking, like, Wild Turkey American Honey or something like that. You know, just keep it in the freezer. It will change very dramatically how that whiskey tastes. Remember when we used to drink... When we first like really started drinking anything like in our late twenties, when we had Fireball all the time, was we that? were drinking. It was Fireball and Wild Turkey American Honey. Was, That's yeah. what we were drinking. Fireball, yeah. I remember Fireball. We were like for somebody who hates Fireball, it's because even then I wasn't a big fan. Everybody else just wanted it, and I wasn't buying two whiskeys. What's the other one though? Is it wasn't Fireball? It was. Um, what did it taste like? I don't remember what it was. You don't remember what it was. Oh. Maybe it was the honey. No, it wasn't the honey. It was something else. I can't remember what it was. Don't recall. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> because he wants to mute the flavor. I, you talking about for the this? Well, I mean, yeah, I do want to mute the flavor of the toast. Yeah, I don't want the toast to overwhelm the whiskey because I want the whiskey for sure. That's good, though. <laughs> Nate, you knew it. The fireball. I, I've drank some fireball, <laughs> but I wasn't the guy who wanted fireball. Everybody else wanted fireball. Uh, ooh, no, screwball. No, but hey, this is a thing I've got. I've got to do a video on this here pretty soon. What's Did you fireball? Huh? It wasn't fireball that I'm thinking okay. of. Well, think, figure out what you're thinking about. Oh. I, I don't know if I've showed y'all this. You remember trying this? Um, I don't remember. This is the best peanut butter whiskey I've ever had in my entire life. Like, when I say this is the best peanut butter whiskey, this is the only peanut butter whiskey I've ever had that is worth drinking. Mm. The only one. All the others are a completely different thing. They are their own level of garbage. And this is the only one I'm like, that's actually freaking interesting. And this is Magic Rabbit chocolate and peanut butter whiskey. And I think this is from, it's from like Cleveland whiskey. Yeah, Cleveland whiskey in Cleveland, Ohio, right there. Magic Rabbit peanut butter chocolate and peanut butter whiskey. We have to do a video. Now they sent us these. And they sent us a lot of their whiskey. And I called, I, the guy called me, I talked to him. He's like, we're going to send you our peanut butter whiskey. And I'm like, dude, I'm just telling you, I'm going to make fun of it. Like, I, I don't like peanut butter whiskey. There's not a peanut butter whiskey on this planet that I am going to enjoy. So you send it at your own peril. Like, this is, you send it, I'm cool. I will, I will receive it into my selection, but I am not going to like it. And I, I, I was wrong. Like, I'm just, I'm wrong. Now, it's not something I'm going to go back to and drink a lot because peanut butter and whiskey is still a weird thing that I just can't wrap my head around. But that's actually pretty freaking good. It's a dessert. It's not really a whiskey I'm going to drink a lot. But if you want something that tastes like chocolate and peanut butter, 
That's a good whiskey right there. Uh, yes, we, we did some videos on Curveball. I don't know if they've come out yet. I Maybe they've come out. They would probably come out on the Mix channel, not this channel. Um, but those things are awful. That's some of the worst stuff I've ever had in my entire life. Like, I'd rather drink my own urine than drink Curveball. I Curve saw Ball. one that came out that you did that was like a, a cranberry juice old-fashioned? I think that just came out. Yeah. Was it good? I don't remember how you that video went. it was went. good. Why didn't I get to try that? You weren't here that day, I don't think. That was uh, the day Will came down and you left. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. We filmed so much ahead. Who knows? Uh, pick, like it, Ethan, I don't even, I'm not even going to the allocation. We're doing a barrel pick in Atlanta, so I'm not even going to get to go. What time do we have to be in Atlanta? You, I don't know. Oh, you I'll have to see. Me. I don't think I, I have time know. to do the allocation and then go. I don't think I have time. Maybe. Maybe I can. We'll see. I don't think so, though. Does Atlanta uh, I don't think there's Atlanta rules Atlanta. on how long they can be in the second barrel. I think each brand kind of does their own thing, right? On black steel. Um, so we've got the, the first black steel. I, I thought it was pretty good. Like, I thought, like, not great. It's not the, a great whiskey, but for a celebrity whiskey release, I thought it was drinkable. It had a great mouthfeel to it. The flavors were okay. It was a little youthful, right? It was a little youthful, but overall, I thought it was was a decent whiskey. We just got batch two, but I have not filmed the video on it yet. So I haven't even opened it and tried it. And Black Steel is Dr. Disrespect, yeah, a, a large streamer. Yeah. We've got his batch two. They were kind enough to send that. Uh -huh. So um, we got to try it. We're going to try it versus batch two, but we're, we're debating. I still got to figure out if we're going to do a long form or a short form or what we're going to do. Although the Black Steel original one's like our number one video. <laughs> yeah. So probably need to do a long form. Uh, Rock Hill Farms is hands down better than Elmer T. Lee. Like, Rock Hill Farms puts Elmer T. Lee in a headlock and just beats him to death. Okay. No, Howler Head's not my jam. That's banana whiskey. Donovan with the four ninety nine dollars Super Chat. Last question for both of y'all. This is going to be the last question. It is, we are two minutes past our time. Oh, my goodness. Which are your most overrated, underrated, and sleeper pours either of y'all have had? And don't forget, I'm going to answer this question, but after this... I'm going to jump into Discord for the supporters only chat. So we're going to be over there hanging out for an hour or so before I go crash and go to bed. Uh, most overrated pour you've had so far? Like something everybody was hyping up and you're like, nah. Hmm. Anything? Everybody was hyping up and I was like, eh. Yep. I mean, I don't think Blanton's is extra special. I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's not like the best thing I've ever had. She was going for that jugular, boy. No, I'm just. She going right for the jugular. I'm just saying. You hit I've the had like button on that one. Much better bourbon than Blanton. And okay. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's not good. It's yeah. fine, but it I've had much better. I understand? Nate I like just, Frey Ranch better. Okay. The, our, the, yeah. the, the, oh, the yeah. barrel strength. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of yeah. course. That's better than a lot of bottles I've ever had. Um, so for me, the most overrated bottle. It's tough because it depends on how you judge overrated. Um, I would probably say Elmer T. Lee is, is the one that I was the most disappointed because I, I love a lot of the Buffalo Trace stuff. I love Rock Hill Farms. I love the Blanton's bottles. Like Blanton's is a little overhyped, but... Elmer T. Lee gets that Blanton's level hype, and it's not as good as Blanton's. I don't think I've had Elmer T. Lee. So it's good. It's a good bottle of whiskey, though. That's what's crazy about overhyped. Right. It's kind of it like you good. said, like Blanton's is good, but it's not worth the hype. Elmer T. Lee, kind of the same. Good bottle of whiskey. And if it were just a shelf staple at like $30, $35, I'd be like, okay, that's great. But those things are going for like $200, $250, $300 on secondary market. It is not that, my friends. It is not that. So underrated. You're going to have to go with the Frey Ranch. That's your oh, underrated, yeah, right? Oh, yeah, Frey Ranch, yes. Absolutely. Do you have another one? Uh, ours. <laughs> oh, honestly, the barrel. It is really good. Barrel Adam. bourbon private releases. I've had a, I've had two barrel bourbon private releases. One of them was our pick. One of them was a total wine pick. Both fantastic whiskey. I really love our pick. Yeah. I, I just think it's it's exceptional it really is it's really good um what somebody said the underrated? bottle yes blanton's does they make a beautiful bottle like one of the top bottles 
out there. It's just gorgeous. I love it. I have several, several, several of them, and I will be using them for decor for our anniversary party for sure. That will happen because I, I love the bottle. It's like top, top yeah. bottle. It, it's a, yeah, I, I, I will agree with you on those barrel bourbon private releases. Underrated, probably still Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proofs. A lot of folks are sleeping on those because they're just like, oh, Jack Daniels is old number seven. Um, sleeper pour, the Ben Holiday stuff. Like, I don't think I've tried so the Ben Holiday. Yeah. You got to try that, like right now. You need a little tasty sip. taste. One sip. I'm going to give you the soft red wheat. Okay, just I'm going to give you the soft red wheat. Yes. Soft red wheat Ben Holiday. If I can find it. Yeah, I looked on because we're planning a trip and Kansas City or wherever Ben Holiday is around in there, it'd kind of be on our, we could stop there. And I was looking to see if we could do a distillery tour, but all their tours are on like the weekend area time. So it wasn't going to work out. To, we would have had to do it on the way mm. back. That's the bottle and bond. That's not their soft red wheat. I want you to try the soft red wheat. We got these when we were in Missouri? That one we did. The soft red wheat, they mailed to us. Oh. Uh, okay. So they sent us that one, but I got to find it, and it is back here in this disaster Did we somewhere. try this one when we were in Branson? Uh, I think so. Hmm. I don't remember that. I don't know if you tried it. I think you did, though. but that may have been after we had quit trying them at the end of videos because nobody was watching it. Mm. Hmm. Where's the freaking holiday at? Somebody steal my holiday? Can't. I don't think anybody stole here. it. <laughs> they didn't. I'm joking. Of course. Nobody was here but me and the girls, and it, we didn't steal it. Jesse was here. Uh-oh, Jesse took my whiskey. Jesse was here a couple nights, so it might have been Jesse. Hmm. Could have been Well, Jesse. I guess you can try that one, because I can't find the freaking... Well, I want to try the soft red wheat one because that's the one you like. Uh, that gummit, Gio, keep the people entertained. Keep We're them way entertained, We're Gio. past time already. <laughs> Everybody's already bailing on this live stream. Yeah, they're all ready to go. Maybe it's next to the dish soap. <laughs> Don't be hating on my dish soap. Yeah. Well, at least you know we wash our dishes, right? We do clean them, so. By hand. By it's hand, awful. yes. I'm there's, putting a dishwasher in this no other. There's no dishwasher down here. When we get that other room going, a dishwasher's going in there. That's How 100%. How does Jack Daniels single barrel differ from the barrel proof? Well, I mean, it's single barrel barrel proofs. <laughs> so the, the barrel proofs you get are usually single barrels. Uh, I don't know if they have, do they have a barrel proof that's not a single barrel? Am I just missing on that? Am I sleeping on that one? I Let me know. slide by you here, Jill. I think it might be down here somewhere. You're sliding by me. Yeah, Let you got to turn you. Slide out of the way. Got to turn you, turn your deal here. Keep them entertained, Jill. I know she's not doing it. I, she's I'm not sorry. entertaining. I'm oh, not, there it is. Look, I found it. I'm not as good found at this it. entertainment. Found it. As you are. Am I? Am I more entertaining you than Jill? Y'all so let me know in the chat. You are so more entertaining Look, than it's me. got a screw top like all the finest whiskey right here. Did you get a fresh blend? Way more entertaining than I am. Mm. How's Maggie? Maggie's good. Oh, Maggie's running like a Swiss watch out there. Oh, Nate says that a dishwasher burns Glen Karens. Uh, what do you mean by burning them? Hmm. Can I hook it up with cold water? I've only put a couple Glen Karens in the upstairs dishwasher, just a couple times. I'm uh, I just don't want to wash them, so we're gonna have to find a machine to do it. <laughs> like, I'm tired of it. Every time, like we've got like 15, I've got to wash here. Ooh, that smells good. It's underrated. That's a sleeper right there. Like, I don't think folks know yet. Wow. Oh, Jill gave it the okay face. All right now. All right now. Ooh. Pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good whiskey. That's nice. I like that. I just poured it down <laughs> the side of my he's face. Cringing. Oh, mm, that's delicious. That is really good. All right, guys, we will see y'all that are supporters in the supporter good chat night, here everybody. in just a minute. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us for two hours and ten minutes tonight. Wow. That was a long stream. Y'all went overtime. I wasn't sure we would make it to the end of the stream with all of the high proof stuff we started with. So we're good. Hopefully, y'all had a good time. <laughs> Should be live again next Monday. I don't know any reason why I would not be. Um, so long as nothing comes up, we will be live next Monday. And 
We've got the Barrel Pick Saturday, which is going to be exciting. Got some patrons coming for that one. What's next Monday? Um, what's, what topics yeah, yeah, yeah. next Monday? Or like, what's what, the date? What the date? I'm not good with dates. I don't know what day of the week it yeah, is. Yeah, I'll be here next time. Monday, but not the next. You're going to skip the next Monday? Yeah, I got, I got Oh, that's it. when we'll do all the fun stuff uh -huh. when Jill's not here. The 31st, yeah. I won't be here. We are trying Ben Holiday uh, soft red wheat <laughs> as a sleeper right there. There will be no dancing on the bar, I promise you. No, you're going to join the chat in there for a yeah. minute or you're going to bounce? We'll chat. All right, we'll see y'all <laughs> here in just a bit. Good night, everybody.